live on a Saturday night at Utah Grizzlies Hockey as it's the second of a three-game series between the Grizzlies and the Rapid City Rush. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting hanging out in the Grizz Cave just outside the Grizzlies team store at Maverick Center. The Grizzlies are over in the Black Hills. They take on the Rapid City Rush, and it's the eighth meeting this season between the clubs. Utah has had quite a bit of success against Rapid City this season. They are 5-1-1. One, and one against the rush this season. Well, it should be a fun one. It usually is when the Grizzlies are over there. And if you're a Grizzlies fan, you know to expect the unexpected when the Grizzlies are over in the Black Hills. And unfortunately, the unexpected was an injury to goaltender Jarrett Fist two minutes and 13 seconds into his professional debut. It almost sounds like Fisk will not be available for the rest of the season for the Grizzlies. Will Cranley came in, and he was solid in net, stopping 25 of 28 as he picked up his seventh win in a Grizzlies uniform. Utah got off to a fast start as Dylan Fitz scored 11-29 into last night's game. He picked up his 19th goal of the season. Fitz has been outstanding as of late as he has 11 goals in his last 13 games. Rapid City tied it up late in the first period as Mark Dwart got his first of two goals on the night. Score was tied to one after one period. Brett Stapley scored his 21st of the season, 455 into the second period with Brandon Cutler picking up the assist. Mark Dwart got a second of the game, 1210 into the second period as the score was tied at two after two periods. Stapley scored a second of the night, 327 into the third with Cutler and Wesley getting the assist. So Brandon Cutler assisted in both of Stapley's goals last night. Alex Aliardi for Rapid City extended his point scoring streak to 11 games as he scored 855 into the third period. The big turning point in the game was a power play for the Grizzlies as Zach Hoffman for Rapid City got a hooking minor 916 in. The game winning goal was scored by Mick Messner 1054 in. It was his 14th of the year with Stapley and Wesley gained the assist. And yes, Brett Stapley did get the main assist on the Messner goals. You're talking about an amazing run that Brett Stapley is on, and we'll get to that later on in the pregame report as really it's just Brett Stapley's world and we're all living in it. Brandon Cutler picked up some insurance 15-33 into the, thir into the third period as he got his 31st of the season. Adam Berg and Kyle Mayhew picked up the assist. Grizzlies outshot the rush 42-28. to Utah went one for two on the power play. Rapid City was 0 for 1. And we'll see if the Grizzlies stars can be their stars once again here this evening. And that's really a big reason as to why the Grizzlies are in fourth place in the Mountain Division as they're just two points behind Tulsa for third place in the Mountain Division standings. We'll do a little bit of scoreboard watching tonight as third place Tulsa is at Idaho once again. Tulsa got a big victory over Idaho last night as they won 4-1. to one. So Tulsa will be in Idaho for the last of a three-game set. The Oilers have three out of four standings points against the Stillheads this week. And we'll also keep an eye on that Allen-Kansas City game. Allen got a big 6-4 to four home victory over Kansas City. It's the same two teams, and they are late in the first period. We'll give you a score update on that on the other side. We'll also talk about the outstanding Brett Stapley. We'll talk about the great dynamic duels that we've seen in the state of Utah over the last 30 years. Obviously, you got Stockton and Malone. You got... Tardiff and Das do. Well, Brett Stapley and Brandon Cutler have certainly been a great one-two punch for the Grizzlies over the last two months. And that's really been a big reason as to why the Grizzlies have had the kind of success they've had as of late. Utah has been a high-scoring team as of late as they have 19 goals over their last four games. The offense has, been a, has really been about as hot as it's been all season. And we'll see if that continues to be the case here tonight against Rapid City. Should be a fun one. Two rivals meeting for the eighth time this season. It's the second of three over in Rapid City during the regular year. Grizzlies has been outstanding in the third periods over the course of the last 28 games where they have outscored opponents 42 to 25 in the rush. Their worst period on average this season has been the third. So if the Grizzlies can find a way to hang in there for a couple periods, they'll find a way to outplay Rapid City in the third. And it's really been tough for the rush at home this season. Oddly enough, Rapid City has lost 11 straight home games. Their last home victory was against Fort Wayne on January 13th. That's right. The NFL playoffs were going on at that time. January 13th, Rapid City won 9-5 to against Fort Wayne, and that was the last home victory for the rush. So it's been over two months since Rapid City has taste victory, tasted victory over at the Monument. 
When we come back, we'll talk about the exploits of Brett Stapley and Brandon Cutler. And we'll also give you the starting lineups for both teams as we're in business on a Saturday night. And you're listening to the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto Kennecott. Maverick's new Fiend to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or ice. Enjoy a fresh cup today. At Black Bear Diner, you always get more. More choice, more amazing food, more value. So get more and get it today. Black Bear Diner. Since 1939, America First has helped people start businesses, buy homes and cars, and achieve their financial goals. Today, our top priority is still the financial success of you and your family, which is why we're giving new members $100 when they sign up for a basic savings and checking account and another $100 when they upgrade to premium checking and enroll in and use direct deposit. So head to AmericaFirst.com today and join the credit union that always puts its members first. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 40 new Kia Sportage models and save up to $2,500 off when you buy. Jerry Signer has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. Little wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lifetime. Jerry Signer Kia, South Jordan. Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting. Face off in about 10 minutes from now over at the Monument, second of a three-game series. Well, when you talk about the great dynamic duos, Brett Stapley and Brandon Cutler have certainly been that, kind of reminding Grizzlies fans of the the uh, Benjamin Tardif, uh, Charles Edward Dastu pairing. Remember, they had a legendary playoff run a couple of years ago where Dastu broke, broke the league record for playoff goals by an individual. And remember, he was a defenseman, and Ben Tardif, uh, set a lot of assist records during the postseason run as well. For Stapley and Cutler, they have certainly been instrumental to the Grizzlies' success over the last couple months and really all season long. Stapley, over his last 10 games, has 21 points. That's right. He's averaging 2.10 points per game over his last 10 contests. He has six goals and 15 assists in his last 10 games. He had two goals and one assist last night where he was the game's number one star. And over his last four games, he has 11 points, averaging just about three points per game. As for Brandon Cutler, he has 16 points in his last 10 games, eight goals and eight assists. He had one goal and two assists last night in the Grizzlies' 5-3 to three victory. Cutler is right up there among league leaders in a lot of categories. He's second in the league in shots on goal with 235. He is tied for third in the league with 31 goals, and he's certainly been a key contributor for the Grizzlies over the last three seasons. He was with the Grizzlies the first half of the 2021-22 season before spending the second half of the year in the American Hockey League. Last year, he spent some time with three different AHL clubs, but put together some outstanding performances, including a game against Rapid City on January 27th of 2023, where he had four goals and two assists. And obviously this year, Cutler's been a consistent force for the Grizzlies, and there have been many nights where Stapley and Cutler have been the two best players on the ice. Well, we'll see what they do for an encore here again this evening. We'll also see if Dylan Fitz can find the back of the net once again. He's got 11 goals in his last 13 games, and one of the best defensive pairings will get the start for Utah and Kyle Mayhew, who leads all league rookie defensemen to 46 points this season. He has a point in seven of his last 10 games, as well as Josh Wesley, who leads the league with 16 goals among defensemen this season. Wesley also leads the league among defensemen in power play goals with seven. We'll see if the Grizzlies can get some power plays tonight and capitalize on them as Grizzlies take on the rush in about five minutes from now. We'll give you the starting lineups for both teams on the other side. This is the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto Kennecott. Smith's always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Smith's fresh for everyone. Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting. Let's get to the starting lineups for both teams. First, for the visiting Utah Grizzlies, 
We're led by third-year head coach Ryan Kanaswich, who has 106 victories behind the Grizzlies bench. He is the all-time leader in goals, assists, and points in Utah Grizzlies history. Utah's got a record of 29, 30, and 3. They're 10, 21, and 1 on the road. But remember, they started the season 0-11 and on the road, and over the last 21 road games, they are 10, 10, and 1. Will Cranley will get the start in net. He's got a record of 8, 11, and 3 overall this season with an 892 save percentage. He has 6'4 and 185 pounds. He's got an NHL entry-level contract with the St. Louis Blues. The backup goaltender is Dante Januzzi. Unfortunately, it looks like Jarrett Fiska has suffered an injury. I'm not saying he's out for the season, but it sounds like he'll be out for quite a while. So Cranley will get the start in net. Januzzi is the backup. Starting defensive pairing, Josh Wesley, who's got 16 goals and 19 assists. He's wearing the captain C for the Grizzlies. He is 6'3 and 201 pounds, and he's paired up with Kyle Mayhew. Mayhew's in his first full season as a pro. He won a national championship with the University of Denver back in 2022. Mayhew has 12 goals and 34 assists in 61 games. Last segment, we talked about Brett Stapley and Brandon Cutler. They're both in the Grizzlies starting lineup, and it looks like Nathan Burke is going to be paired up with them at the start. Burke has 16, 18 goals and 20 assists in 55 games. Watch out for Nathan Burke. He is my pick for the Optum first goal of the game. Everybody make your pick as to who's going to score first for the Grizzlies here tonight. Scratches include Kay Jensen and Michael Underwood, as well as Max Neal, Jacob Semek, Jordan Stone, Cody Caron, and Keone Teixeira. And now for the homestanding Rapid City Rush, who have lost 11 straight at the Monument. They are led by third-year head coach Scott Burt, who was a teammate with Ryan Kanaswich in the 2007-08 season with the Grizzlies. They both tied for the club lead with 60 points on the year. Matt Radomski gets the start in net. He's got a record of 14-22-2. He got the start and the loss last night, stopping... 37 of 42. Starting defensive pairing is Zach Hoffman and Tyson Helgeson. Starting forwards are Alex Eliardi, who's got an 11 game point scoring streak. He's paired up with Brett Davis and Blake Bennett. Bennett's been a great goal scorer this year as he leads all league rookies with 28 goals. We'll come back and have face off on the other side. It's Grizzlies and the Rush meeting for the eighth time this season. You've been listening to the Rio Tinto Kennecott pregame report on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. Schwab tires. I'm a confident backseat driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your adventure. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. Shop over 50 new Kia Sorentos with savings up to $4,500 off at Jerry Signer Kia, South Jordan. At Black Bear Diner, you always get more. More choice, more amazing food, more value. From huge breakfasts to delicious lunches and hearty dinners, Black Bear Diner has more for you. So get more when you want it, the way you want it, and get it today. Good old-fashioned family food, Black Bear Diner. Black Bear Diner. <laughs> It's a great night for hockey as two big standings points are on the line as the Utah Grizzlies take on the Rapid City Rush in the second of a three-game series. I'm Tyson Whiting. Both teams are headed down the stretch run of the regular season. For the Utah Grizzlies, they've got 10 goals left in the regular campaign, and really the fact that they've been a 500 club on the road since January 1st has been key 
to their run to the playoffs as the Grizzlies will be home for six of the final nine games of the regular season. But they got business to take care of against the Rapid City Rush. We're led by third-year head coach Scott Burton. Oddly enough, Rapid City's been about a 500 team on the road this season, but their struggles at home have been a big part as to why the Rush are going to miss the postseason as they are just 8, 19, and 1 at home. They have lost 11 straight home games as a spotlight at center ice. Alex Aliardi and Josh Wesley stare each other down in a very interesting setting. Hopefully, Rob Church, who's at the game, took a picture of that. And that's one he could probably frame as they got a multiple ceremonial puck drops over at the monument as it appears to be a pretty good Saturday night crowd as Grizzlies usually are at, in Rapid City for two or three different series during the course of a regular season. However, it's the only series that the Grizzlies have over at the monument this year. Josh Wesley, the Grizzlies captain, shakes hands with Alex Aliardi. Interestingly enough, Logan Nelson had been Rapid City's captain this season. However, Alex Aliardi is wearing the captaincy, and Logan Nelson uh, was put on injury reserve about a week ago, and it appears he's out for the rest of the season. That's certainly a big loss for them, as he was certainly public enemy number one among Grizzlies fans' eyes, as Nelson had five goals against the Grizzlies this year. But Alex Aliardi really is no slouch as he's got an 11-game point scoring streak. He has 16 points over his last 11 games. Will Cranley gets the start in net as he stopped 25 of 28 last night, getting the victory. For Rapid City, it's Matt Radomski who got the loss last night. Radomski was busy seeing 42 shots. He saved 37 of them. Rapid City's wearing a black jersey with white on the shoulders and, red num and uh, black numbers on the sleeves. As it kind of looks a little bit like a Philadelphia Flyers type jersey, just might just take out the uh, orange for red. They are affiliated with the Calgary Flames and the Calgary Wranglers. Grizzlies are in a white jersey with black numbers, professional green trim. As Brett Stapley will take the draw, he's got 21 points in his last 10 games. It's won by Rapid City. They escape from left to right as we see it from Flow Sports as the rush cross center ice. Bennett fires it in and chases after it with good speed. Cranley will bounce it off of Bennett. It goes towards the slot, and Stapley will literally kick it away as Grizzlies get towards their bench area and flub it across to Stapley near side. Stapley backhands it in. Nathan Burt chases after it. Zach Hoffman gets it for Rapid City. He skates towards the far corner deep in his own zone. He'll pitch it ahead. Right wing pass connects to Aliardi. He gets around Mayhew. Aliardi right wing shot goes wide. Cranley might have gotten a piece of it. Grizzlies gets a center ice right wing as they step over the line three on three. Utah shuffles towards their left. Cutler chips it out in front looking for Stapley. It goes wide of the mark. Aliardi will lift it out to center ice. The puck hippity ops towards the Grizzlies bench. Taking it is Riley St. On. She'll fire it in as we're 50 seconds in. No one's taking a shot yet. Quinn Wicker's a former rush skater. He played there the last two years. Moves it ahead. Grizzlies diagonal to the left. Luke Manning skates towards the near circle. Take a shot. Saved by Radomski who got a shoulder in it. As right wing pass connects, rush step over the line. Brett Gravel stops the point, centers it out in front, and glanced off of Wicker's stick and flies out of play off the protective netting. As we get our first whistle a minute and nine seconds in. Everybody make your pick for the Optum first goal of the game as to who's going to score first. I'm going to go with Nathan Burke, who's got 18 goals this season. As draws going to be in the near circle, everybody make your pick as to who's going to score first for the Grizzlies tonight. And scoring first, obviously, has been a big factor for the Grizzlies as they are 21-3-2 and in scoring first this year. Rapid City wins the draw as Zach Taylor moves to his left. Left point, lefty shot is blocked away, and it goes out of play once again as we get another whistle. 18.44 is left in the first as we're just getting started. So grab some chips and dip and a beverage of your choice and enjoy a little bit of Saturday with us. You know, there's a lot of sports and entertainment options out there. We appreciate you choosing the Grizzlies tonight. Don't forget, the same teams will meet for the ninth and final time this season on Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. Luke Manning will take the draw. It's his fifth professional game. He becomes postseason eligible. Grizzlies win the draw. Cole Gallant gets the center ice. He'll dump it in. Chasing after it's Will Rydell. is a pretty good player for Rapid City. He's got an AHL contract with the Calgary Wranglers. He'll drop it off for Taylor, who is very active in his pro debut. Ahead, Rapid City crosses center ice. St. Ange will dump it in. St. Ange, one of the newer rush skaters, as he battles with Stucker. As St. Ange has a puck kick towards the near corner. It goes to Alex Bocage, who had a five-point game against Rapid City exactly two weeks ago. He'll move it to the far side for Manning, who dumps it in. Grizzlies make a full line change as we're about two minutes in. Grizzlies have one shot. Rapid City's yet to fire away on Cranley. 
Raj, far side, gets the center ice. Now they step over the blue line. They skate towards the far circle. They center it out in front. Pass goes wide of the mark as they were looking for Keanu Yamamoto, who's got 16 goals this season. Aragon gets spun around near side as Penner will bank it off the near boards. Fits in the area. He battles with Kenton Helgeson, who was a scratch last night. Kenton Helgeson and his brother Tyson Helgeson are two of six defensemen tonight. Grizzlies far side will chip it in. Fitz chases after it as Rapid City gets it and will bank it off the near boards. Yamamoto pushes to his left at center ice. The rush cross the red line and they chip it in. Cranley stares over his right shoulder as Josh Wesley, the Grizzlies captain, gets the puck. Wesley will move it to the far side. Grizzlies, Nathan Burke chasing after it. Hoffman moves it back to center ice. Messner, last night's hero, dumps it in as he got hit near the rush bench. Messner's got 14 goals this season as Rapid City, skating from left to right, has the puck about three minutes in, still no score. Near side, they'll glide it towards Bennett, who pushes to his left as he rush cross center ice, and Hoffman will wing it around the boards. As Mayhew near corner gets hit, as he'll push it from one corner to the other, Wesley will chip it ahead. It's a bouncing puck, goes ahead to Burke, who chases after it. Now Messner gets knocked down as delayed offside is called. Rapid City angles it out to the near side for Aliardi, and he tried to advance it ahead. Now Aliardi takes it away from Staples. The puck rolls deep in the Grizzly zone. Wickers throws it from one corner to the other for Stucker. He'll steer it ahead. Grizzlies cross center ice. Cutler steps over the line, stops in the right point, glides it across towards Stapley. Stapley fires towards the net. It's kicked away by Radomski as Cutler over in the right point gets it, and he'll feed it to the far corner as Adam Berg gets over to Stapley. Stapley skates towards the near point as he loses it. Now he dances around trying to get around Taylor. He feeds it up top to Wickers, across to Stucker, right side, righty shot is blocked away. Stapley left side shot saved by Radomski. Rebound goes to Rapid City. They skate around their net as the rush spread the ice in a black jersey with a bit of white mixed in, white numbers and red trim. As number 11 skates into the zone, that's Riley Janelle. He's got one goal against Utah this season. He feeds it up top left point. Shot goes wide as it ricochets off the near corner. Kenton Helgeson, the former Grizzly, gets over to the near circle for Janelle. Lefty shot is kicked away by Cranley. And it looks like a Grizzly player got hit in the face. And I think that's Luke Manning. Far side, plagues continues as a Grizzly player got hit in the face. And it looks like they'll skate off the ice. Bokaj can't believe a whistle isn't blown, and I can't believe it either. And now the whistle blows as a Grizzly player got hit in the face with a puck, it looked like. And somehow, for some reason, the play continued on in the Grizzly zone, even though the Grizzlies player was laying towards the far circle. Couldn't quite tell it was. I thought it was Luke Manning. And unfortunately, I'm not sure they're going to... Uh, show us who it is as they're showing people mingling and uh, near the ice. Bokaj was yelling for a whistle, and it was uh, kind of odd that it took that long for the whistle to blow as both teams just kind of lingering near the Grizzlies bench. I wish we knew who it was that got hit in the face with a puck. For a second, I thought it was Manning, but Manning is on the ice right now, so maybe it wasn't him. As Colin Lee, the Grizzlies trainer, I imagine, is looking over, and I think Kanasiewicz is going to talk with referee Tyler Haskell. It's the second straight night that Haskell's been the referee as the Grizzlies player was laying over there in the slot, and it was amazing that play was able to continue for as long as it did. 15-34 left in the first. Utah's taken three shots. Rapid City's yet to officially take one, even though it seems like they've missed wide a few times. Big Garrett Klotz is one of 11 Fords. He was a scratch last night. Remember Klotz, the veteran who's about 35 years old. He played with the Grizzlies in the 2019-2020 season. He is 6'6 six, six and 249 pounds. So everybody just kind of lingering around with 1534 left in the first as a Grizzlies player uh, appeared to have gotten hit in the face and was laying on the ice for a good 10 seconds. It really was surprising with action going around him that the officials didn't blow the whistle. Eventually they did, but about that time, the Grizzlies player um, you know, was coming off the ice. I thought it was somebody, but um, it might be somebody else. I was thinking maybe it was Luke Manning. I saw a single-digit number, and only Stapley and Manning are wearing single digits for the Grizzlies, but of course I could be wrong. Um, as looks like kind of a lighter crowd. They're working on piece of ice near the rush blue line uh, you would think that they'd be working on the ice near the grizzlies line but it looks like they're working on some ice all around the monument maybe that's part of the issue um looked like the grizzly player was able to skate off the ice and hopefully he's okay as colin lee the grizzlies trainer i imagine is going to look after him 
As we're four and a half minutes into the contest, still no score for the Grizzlies. They've been red hot offensively as of late as they have 19 goals in their last four games. So it looks like they're working on some ice as I think they're trying to either scrape up some blood, which they, they, they were working on both ends of the ice. They weren't just working on the Grizzlies zone uh, that they're defending in the first period. They're working on all sorts of uh, real estate on the monument ice. So we'll see when we get back to live action. I do hear there's a few Grizzlies fans that are in attendance over in Rapid City as they made the trip. It's about a 10-hour a drive to Rapid City. Um, I do know it can be a little bit difficult from time to time to fly from Salt Lake to Rapid City, especially since, if I remember right, Delta took away that uh, direct flight from Salt Lake City to Rapid City. So we're four and a half minutes in, and there's a bit of a delay as they're working on some ice, as there's still no score. Grizzlies took three shots, have taken three shots here so far, and it looks like finally we'll get back to live action. As we apologize, we're watching on a remote broadcast here in the Salt Lake Valley. And unfortunately, some key details can go missing from time to time, as was the case uh, last night, of course. So it looks like the draw is going to be in the Grizzly zone near circle. As Maurizio Koala is going to take the draw for Rapid City. He has 10 goals and 18 assists in 61 games. He's appeared in all 62 games for Rapid City. A draw one by the Grizzlies as Utah skates along the near side. Cody Corbett will loft it into the rush zone as the puck skips towards the far corner. Taking as Peter Muzika, the big 6'3", 205 pound defenseman. He'll roll it towards the near side as Corbett battles sporting a beard. Garrett Klotz right side as it tap away from Glant as Glant will move it over to the near side. It goes to Cody Corbett who pushes back to Glant who crosses center ice. He'll get to Bocage right side. He'll roll it along the boards. Near side, Manning will bounce it off a rush skate as the puck hippity hops towards the near circle. Rapid City gets it, and they'll carry it out to new tries to get back checked by Bocage, taking the puck as Fitz will get to Manning, who danced around the near side. Manning over to Bocage off the screen near corner. Bocage skates towards a point. Now back towards his right over to Wesley. He'll take a right wing shot, and glove saved by Radomski as he holds on with 14.47 left in the first. The Grizzlies are now up to four shots here on Matt Radomski, the Rapid City goaltender. Nugget, the Rapid City mascot, entertaining the crowd, sporting a pink dress and a cowboy hat as Nugget looks like he's going to hand a pizza over to somebody. As looks like a pretty decent crowd for a Saturday night. I know the Rapid City natives are a bit restless as they have lost 11 straight home games. In fact, they have six road victories since they last won at home, which was on January 13th. Uh, against Fort Wayne. So it's been over two months. Rapid City crossed the center ice after winning the draw. They fired onto Cranley. He gloves it and holds on as the shot was taken from the left point as Rush were just entering the attack zone and Cranley makes a stop for his first save of the game. 14.36 left in the first as we've had quite a few whistles here early on as Tyler Penner will take the draw for the Grizzlies. Penner is playing consecutive game number 207. He'll be wearing the he's wearing number 21. He's got an A on his sweater. He takes a draw against Jake Stell in his second pro game as the puck rolls towards Cranley, who covers up as there's 14.34 left in the first. Draw will once again be in the far circle. Penner for the Grizzlies and Jake Stella for Rapid City. Draw one by the rush. They pitch it up top, left side over to the high slot. Lefty shot is kicked away. Couldn't tell who that was. The shooter was off the screen. Might have been one of the Helgeson brothers. Near side, Rapid City is being shadowed by Penner as the rush dance around. Brett Gravel is an outstanding skater. Gets pushed by Mayhew in the back. Gravel strong with the puck. Mayhew battles. Now Mayhew gets pushed by Gravel as Penner throws it around Utah's net. Fitz gallops towards the far side. He delivers a good shoulder check on Rapid City. Siren pass left. He shot. And a save by Cranley as the puck will ricochet out of play as there's 14.06 left in the first. As the rush have taken a few shots on Will Cranley over the last 30 seconds. As the draw is going to stay in the Grizzlies zone as both teams will change up skaters. Alex Aliardi, who was wearing the captain's C earlier this season, it was Logan Nelson wearing the C as Nelson is out of the Rapid City lineup. Brett Davis will take the draw wearing number 82. He was just recently acquired in a trade with Florida for Jimmy Soper. As the draw won by Utah over in the far corner of their own zone, Grizzly skating from right to left as we see it on Flow Sports as Burke head to his right for Manning. Manning gets towards center ice, and he'll tap it off the far boards and chase after it. Manning gets there with good speed, good speed, but overskates it. Davis trying to clear it out. It kicks back towards Manning. 
who gets hit but keeps the puck. Now he feeds it up top right point. Stucker glides towards his left. He'll take a righty shot that goes wide. It might have gotten redirected by a Grizzly. Aliardi will skate towards the near side. As we got 13.39 left in the first, and my screen just froze. As now the rush cross center ice, there's 13.25 left in the first. As the Grizzlies have it in their own zone, skating from right to left. Utah dance around the far circle as both teams will change up skaters. As Robbie Stucker holding on to the puck, as he'll skate towards the far side. Now I'll pitch it ahead as it bounced off a body at new tries. Rapid City skates towards the near side. Helgeson moves it ahead. Yamamoto taps it off the state, please. The puck bobbles towards the middle as Muzika fires it towards the far side. And now the Grizzlies over in the far corner. Berg gets hit in the back by Muzika as the rush. Stapley loses it. Now it goes back to center ice. Berg at the center ice logo. Pivots. Skates towards the right wing, and he'll loft it in and chase after it. Muzika along the near side as Rapid City will... Fling it back to the near side. Rush still in their own zone as Helgeson with a blue line to blue line pass that tapped off of uh, Parker Bowman's stick. Now at center ice, Grizzlies. Brandon Cutler, right wing pass connects. Grizzlies stop on the right point. Fire righty shot that gets kicked away by Radomski. A glove goes flying towards the far boards as Yamamoto crosses center ice. He steps over the line, right wing, skates towards the near circle, takes a shot, and it's blocked by Galat's stick, and it flies out of play. As we get a whistle with 12-15 left in the first. No score over at the Monument. And we'll be back in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. From commercial to recreational truck accessories, Mountain Land Truck Outfitters has got what you need. Flatbeds, spray and bed liners, lifts and leveling kits, wheels and tires. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters proudly uses a brand you know and trust. And with our experienced, knowledgeable, and friendly staff, your visit here will be informative and enjoyable. Stop into our convenient location in Provo at 265 South 100 West or call 801-225-4637 to get a quote for your fleet or individual truck. This isn't just copper. It's our job. It's food on our family's tables. Without it, we couldn't stay in touch. It's what keeps our homes warm and our lights on. It's the power behind the team and a greener, brighter future. This isn't just copper. It's a proud Utah and a strong America. Welcome back to Grizzlies hockey. From what we hear, there might it might be Quinn Wickers that got hit with in the uh, in the face. Uh, we haven't seen Wickers since then. That's at least uh, what we're hearing from some people. As there's 12:15 left in the first, as Jake Stella will take the draw against Luke Manning, Manning who played at the University of Saint Thomas over the last few years. He wins the draw. Corbett gets it across as Wesley uh, will nudge it ahead. Rapid City takes it away. Puck bounces off of Manning towards New Trice. Tyson Helgeson fires it back in, and now everybody stops skating as the puck must have lifted out of play with 12.04 left in the first. So draw appears to be coming back to neutralize near the Grizzlies bench. Utah's in a white jersey with black numbers and professional green trim as Gallant will be on the right wing. Bokaj out there as well, and I believe Luke Manning will be on the ice for the Grizzlies as well. Manning's taking the draw against Jake Stella. Stella, a native of Sweden, 5'11", 185 pounds, just recently signed by the rush. Utah wins the draw. Cody Corbett along the near side will drop it back as Grizzlies get to Wesley. Over to, to Corbett, who lifts into the far corner deep in the rush zone. Grizzlies skate from right to left. Wesley, right side shot, is blocked away. It looked like he got a piece of Manning, as well as Tyson Helgeson, who's one of Rapid City's leaders. Utah lifts it over Manning's head. Hoffman pushes ahead to center ice. As rush back at their blue line, Gravel gets it back towards Hoffman, who's in the rush zone. He'll feed it across as Tyson Helgeson dance around the far circle as Hoffman skates towards the bench as Helgeson will backhand it off the near boards as Gravel moves it ahead. Garrett Davis over to his left for Gravel, who chips it in from new tries. Cranley will get the slow puck as he'll stop it. Stucker throws to the near side. Stucker's out there with Mayhew as the defensive pairings have been shuffled a bit. Grizzlies cross center ice, and Utah wings it along the boards towards the near side. Fitz reverses it back to the far side for Penner, trying to get it back to Fitz, but fanned on it. Rapid City moves it down the middle to Aliardi. He tries to split a double team. He enters the zone, gets around Stucker. Left side, tries to fire towards the net, 
and couldn't get a shot up as he got pushed towards the end boards. Rapid City gets up top. Taylor over to Bennett, right side. He stops the point, takes a lefty shot that goes wide as he tried to go stick side on Cranley. Rush push it towards the backboards. Now it goes to the far circle for Fitz, who lifts it out to center ice. The puck wobbles on its side like a spinning top as Rush re-entered the zone down the middle. As they try to get to Will Rydell, Utah took it away. Fitz gains center ice, and he'll wrap it around the boards. Matt Messner with a good check of number 11. That's Riley Janelle, who's a big 6'4 forward. Now down the middle, Grizzlies get it. Righty shot goes wide. That was taken by Bocage, who gets it off the end boards. He's in the near side. Bocage over to Burke, back to Bocage. Now up top, as Dennison in his second pro game gets over to Bocage, the whistle blows, and let's see what it is. It looks like the net got dislodged on Matt Radomski's side, so they'll put the net back in place with 10 minutes and 6 seconds left in the first. Grizzlies, according to the score bug, have outshot Rapid City 4-1, to one, even though it feels like the Rush have had more than one shot on Cranley early on. Big Garrett Klotz on the ice, number 88. He played in uh, he played with about, for the Grizzlies for about three months, from November of 2019 all the way to the end of the season on March 12th of 2020. Draw one by the Rush. Kenton Helgeson skates around his net towards the far side. He'll feed it ahead. Rush cross center ice. Janelle gets blasted as he dumps it in deep. As chasing after it, Liam Dennison delivers a hit. Dennison in his second pro game wearing number 22, the first-year pro out of Mary Mack. He was just signed a couple days ago. Janelle will wing it up top, left point. Rush keep it in. They'll take a lefty shot that goes wide. Bocage near side gets the puck. He gets pushed, but Bocage advances it to Burke, who crosses center ice, trying to loft it in. It bounced off the stick of Kenton Helgeson. Pucks over in the near corner, deep in the rush zone. Burke delivers a shot as Grizzlies get it to Messner, who pitches it to the point for Mayhew. Mayhew across to Wesley. Right side, shot to score! Grizzlies get on the board, 920 left in the first period as Josh Wesley fired towards the net. I believe he's picked up his 17th of the year. So it took five shots for the Grizzlies to find the back of the net, and they do so with nine minutes and 20 seconds left in the first. We're never going to get a replay over in Rapid City to find out if it got redirected or not, as Wesley fired towards the net, and I believe the Grizzlies' captains picked up his 17th of the year. So it's a Grizzlies one and the rush nothing, and that's certainly critical considering the Grizzlies are 21-3-2 and two when scoring first this season. Second straight night, the Grizzlies have scored first, as Rapid City wins the draw, they skate from left to right. They move it ahead. Puck bounced off a stick and glides towards the near corner deep in the Grizzlies zone as Wesley pins a rush skater, and that's Coel along the boards. Now the puck ends up towards Cranley. Wesley takes it and skates towards the far corner as he'll chip it ahead. Puck bounces off a rush player at center ice and firing it back in Coel up. Wesley chases after it. He's paired up with Mayhew on this shift over to Berg, back to Mayhew. Mayhew with a right-wing pass. It connects to Cutler, who dumps it in. Stapley chasing after it as Rush fling it back towards the far side. As Rapid City will bank it off the far boards. Now the Rush get it back. Right wing over to Yamamoto, who fumbles the puck, gets it back. As he tried to filter it towards the net, it goes wide. Rapid City skates around towards the near corner. Yamamoto centering pass out in front. Shot saved by Cranley. Everybody hacking away. Bowman very active, but Cranley's covered up. Good job by the Grizzlies boxing out Cranley as Rapid City was able to get a centering pass in looking for Parker Bowman, but Cranley makes his second save of the game. 8.25 left in the first. We believe Josh Wesley was the one to get Utah on the board. Uh, if not, it's Alex Bocage redirecting the Josh Wesley shot with not, and as he scored with 9.20 left in the first period. It's Grizzlies 1 in the rush, nothing. We're back in 30 seconds on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. This isn't just copper. It's our job. It's food on our family's tables. Without it, we couldn't stay in touch. It's what keeps our homes warm and our lights on. It's the power behind the team and a greener, brighter future. This isn't just copper. It's a proud Utah and a strong America. When you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. It's Utah 1, Rapid City nothing. According to the ECHL app, uh, Alex Bocage gets the goal with his 10th of the year with Mayhew getting the assist. 
as Utah is outshot Rapid City 5-4, to four, as Utah wins the draw, it's in their own zone, as behind Cranley's net, Stucker battles. Uh, Dennison in the area, battling with Davis. Puck goes to Manning out of the pile, who pushed his right. Grizzlies cross center ice, and they'll skip it in. Bokaj chases after it. He appears to be the optimum first goal of the game score. Manning over to Bokaj. Shot saved by Radomski. Near side, Gallant dances around. He fiddles and diddles. Now he gets up top to Dennison, across towards Stucker. He'll take a right wing shot that goes wide. We haven't seen Quinn Wicker since we believe he got hit in the face a few minutes into the game. Dennison has to go past him out to Neutrice. Dennison chases after it and gets it to the Utah line. He moves it across to Stucker, angles it to the left side off the near boards. Messner will drop it for Bokaj, who skates towards the near court. Now it's taken by Gallant, who's second in the club and assists. Gallant loses the puck as Rapid City will carry it out to Neutrice. Muzik across the center, fires onto Cranley. It goes wide. Mayhew gallops after it in the near goal line. Mayhew with good speed quickly gets to Neutrice. He crossed the center red right wing. And he'll backhand it in and chase after it as Muzika gets there first. And he'll move it to the far corner. Now up top, Grizzlies righty shot saved by Radomski. Rebound goes to Jake Stella, who's a native of Sweden. Muzika moves to the far side. Rapid City clears it back to center. Grizzlies get it back. Utah's outshot Rapid City 7-4, to four, and the Grizz have a one nothing lead. As we believe Alex Bokaj scored 10-40 into the first. As the game moves so fast, you need to see replays from time to time. We didn't get a replay, though, to confirm it. Aragon up ahead to Penner. It tapped off of his stick. It goes back to Aragon as it bounces at center ice. Now the rush center from the left side. They get it across to Gravel. Right side, lefty shot. Saved by Cranley. Rebound goes to Stucker, who skates towards the far corner. Now he stops still in the Grizzlies zone. Grizzlies change up as Stucker holds on to the puck deep in Utah's end. As he allows Grizzlies to make a full line change as Glant is out there with Josh Wesley. Wesley gets it in the near side from Stucker. Wesley outlets it towards Nathan Burke. He goes past him. Now Burke in the left wing tries to enter the zone. The rush took it back away from him as Taylor looks like he's been a good defenseman. High slot. Wesley shot. is sticked away by Radomski, and it goes out of play. Boy, good stop by Matt Radomski's blocker as Wesley had a pretty good look from the high slot, trying to make it 2 to nothing. But the Grizzlies still have a one nothing lead with 6-17 left in the first. So draws give me the rush zone. Seems like this game's kind of kind of taken an interesting flow to it. Uh, draws give me in the right circle. And it's won by Utah. Nathan Burke feeds it up top, right point. Grizzlies will bounce it off a rush skater. Now Yamamoto gets it. He'll move it to his left as a rush step over the line. Hoffman stops in the left point, takes a righty shot. Glove saved by Cranley as he holds on with 6.03 left in the first. We've been skating five on five this entire time. Grizzlies, on average, have scored 3.2 goals per game this season, which is 12th best in the league. The goal scored by Bokaj is the 202nd goal for the Utah this season. Grizzlies win the draw, and they're lifting out the center ice. Rydell couldn't get it as Adam Burke skates towards a far circle. Sarring pass to Cutler. Shot goes wide as he went stick side to Radomski but missed the net. As Rydell battles with Stapley, Berg in the area, he gets double teamed. As Rapid City skates towards the near corner with the puck, Yamamoto gets around Berg. He'll skate along the near side as Yamamoto tries to split. Double team, Cutler took it away from him. He gets to Berg, right side. Berg fiddles and diddles. He'll take a lefty shot that goes wide as Cutler gets over to Stapley, who swings it to the left point as Dennison fires towards the net. It goes wide. One big note, though, if the box score is right, which isn't, isn't always the case in Rapid City, but Dennison did pick up an assist on the Bokaj goal, which means it would be his first professional point. Grizzlies ahead to new tries. Bokaj crosses the center. Now he steps over the line left wing, skates towards a circle, righty shot, saved by Radomski, and he holds on, and Peter Muzika and Bokaj battle as Bokaj got pretty close to Radomski as he was hoping for just a little bit of a rebound uh, to capitalize for maybe a second of the game. Bokaj has been Utah's best player against Rapid City as Peter Muzika gives Bokaj a lecture, and Bokaj says, I don't care. <laughs> 509 is left in the first. Bokaj is probably thinking, I'm just looking for a loose puck. Grizzlies lead 1 0. The Utah's outshot Rapid City 11 6 in the first period. We'll come back in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. This isn't just copper, it's our job. It's food on our family's tables. Without it, we couldn't stay in touch. It's what keeps our homes warm. 
and our lights on. It's the power behind the team and a greener, brighter future. This isn't just copper. It's a proud Utah and a strong America. Maverick's new bean to cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. At Black Bear Diner, you always get more. More choice, more amazing food, more value. So get more and get it today. Black Bear Diner. Utah leads 1-0, 509 left in the first period. It looked at the replay of the Grizzlies goal on the Grizzlies X account. And, you know, Bocage and Wesley have similar body types. I initially thought it was Wesley. It appears it was Bocage picking up the goal, which is his um, eighth of the season. Rush won the draw. They skate from left to right in the first period, right wing, as Helgeson steps over the line. That's why you need to see replays when uh, goals get scored, regardless of who scores them. Deep in the Grizzlies zone, Wesley's over in the far corner. Davis has a pot kill. Drop it for Blake Bennett, who's got 28 goals this season. As Davis gets it back and rolls it along the near side for Kenton Helgeson. Back to Davis. Davis right side. Skates towards his left. And he'll chip it over to the left side. Shot and a score. As Rapid City fired towards the net. And it looks like Blake Bennett has scored his 29th of the season. And we're tied at one with 438 left in the first. As Bennett and Aliardi talked things over. And at the last moment, Aliardi said, I redirected it, big guy, I get the goal. As Bennett thought he had scored, and Aliardi says, no, nah, I redirected it. As Bennett was long the far boards, threw it out in front. Aliardi says he got a piece of it as the puck flew over Cranley's left glove, uh, over his left shoulder, as the rush have tied it up with 438 left in the first. As the fans in Rapid City go nuts, Aliardi will take the draw against Penner. It's won by Rapid City's Hoffman. Moves it over towards Aliardi. It glanced off of his skate. And the rush gets to the far side as Rapid City crosses center, and they move it ahead. As now Utah has it. Aragon will throw up back to Stucker. Over to Wickers, who appears to be wearing one of those college-style masks because he's back in after uh, getting hit up high early in the contest. As Jake Stella throws it across. Aliardi gets it off the far wall. Aliardi will skate to Neutrois as he gets around Fitz. As Aliardi, who scored redirecting it, far side. Shot saved by Cranley as Stucker along the far side. Gets back checked by Stella. As Stucker one-hands it ahead to Penner, who moves it across to Fitz, who crosses the center ice. Fitz dumps it in. Aragon chasing after it. So is Taylor. Taylor for Rapsay gets there first with great speed. He skates towards the far side. Aragon pokes it, throws it towards the middle. Rapsay takes it away. Gravel ahead to the right side as Rapsay steps over the line. St. Ange skates around Dennison. Shot saved by Cranley. Rebound shot saved by Cranley again. As St. Ange had the first look, and then Jake Stella skated along the right wing, had a rebound, and took a shot, but Cranley made that save as well. 334 left in the first period. We're seeing quite a bit of a Barbie theme. Over at the Monument. That must be the Saturday night promotion they got going on at the Monument. As draw is going to be in the Grizzly zone. So I imagine it is Barbie night, if not Princess night. It looks like Nugget is dressed in his Barbie attire. As Luke Manning will take the draw against Parker Bowman. As the draw won by the Grizzlies. As they fling it out to Neutrize. The puck up in the opposite to Rapsi territory. Taylor gets it across the left side. Bowman dumps it in. Corbett chases after it. He skates around Utah's net. He'll move it out to center ice. Puck bounced off a stick. Burke chases after it. Over skates it, but now gets it along the near circle. He one-hands it towards Radomski. Save. Shot by Messner. Saved by Radomski again. Manning skates along the near goal line. Back in shot. Saved by Radomski as the puck goes over the crossbar and towards the far corner. Messner over to Dennison. Left side. Lefty shot. Saved by Radomski. Puck hit the ops on to Gravel, who pushes out the center ice for St. Ange, who lifts it in. Puck stays in play, gliding along the near boards. Corbett runs it down, sporting a beard. It's his sixth game of the season for the Grizzlies. As Corbett, with one assist last night, gets ahead to Burke at center, to Berg at center ice. He couldn't get it. Rapid City skates down the middle. Lefty shot is blocked by Corbett. As Davis, over on the far side, will lay it for another rush skater who feeds it to the far corner. Rushing the attack zone, get it towards Muziku, fanned on a shot. 
As Stapley crosses center ice down the middle. Now he steps over the line, tries to get around Yamamoto as Stapley got pushed along the near glass. As Puck's still in the rush zone, now it goes to center ice. As right wing Yamamoto steps over the line, he gets around Mayhew. Yamamoto's been a consistent performer for Rapid City, but he gets cut off by Wesley. And now the puck goes back towards the near point. Stapley gets the cutler back to Stapley who crosses center ice. As Stapley will lift it into the near corner as the rush. Have the puck deep in their own end. As there's 150 and counting left in the first. We're tied to one. Grizzlies have outshot the rush 15 to 10. Stella steers to his left. Rush step over the line. Skate towards the far corner. Rapid City towards the near side. Wesley with a good push knocking down Rapid City. Referee's going to let them play tonight as Manning crosses center ice. He's trying to get to Bocage. And Rapid City bats it back to the center red line. Mayhew trying to get to Manning who couldn't get it as Rapid City will ice the puck. Mayhew glides over there as the arm is raised by both linesmen and icing is on the rush with a minute and 26 seconds left in the first. So a draw comes back towards Matt Radomski. Last night, the score was tied at one after one period, and then after two periods, the score was tied at two. And then the Grizzlies outscored the rush 3-1 to one in the third period to take a 5-3 victory. Alex Bocage get, got Utah on the board first, and Alex Aliardi answered with a tying goal as he redirected the Blake Bennett shot. Stapley will take the draw against Jake Stella. As the linesman explains to Stella what's going to happen. As puck is dropped, Utah wins the draw. Cutler shot that goes wide as he fired away from the left side right off the draw. Stucker feeds it to the far corner. Now over to Stapley behind the net. He gets pushed by Stella. As Stapley continues to keep his feet as now Adam Berg in the far corner gets it. Berg drops it back for the corner as Utah continues to battle. Rapid City cuts off Utah's pursuit, and they fling it towards the near corner. Stapley drops for Cutler. One minute left in the first period. Cutler skates towards the far side as he'll skate towards the point. Now he fires towards the net. It goes wide. Berg back to the near side, trying to chip it to Wickers. Wickers has a glance back towards Berg. Cutler back to Wickers, who danced around wearing number 12. He's one of six defensemen for Ryan Kanaswich tonight. Cutler gets pushed along the near boards. Rapid City. Aliardi pokes it off of Stapley. Now, Ali, now Aliardi moves to the far side. It's taken back by the Grizz. As Wickers danced around his blue line. Now he push ahead to Stapley over to Cutler. Cutler's at the center red line. Now he'll skate down the middle. He steps over the line. Cutler, lefty shot saved by Radomski as Cutler got knocked down after he took the shot. Cutler's got 31 goals this season. As the puck glides, Stapley back up top as Wickers. We're rolled, rolled to the near corner. 15 seconds left in the period. Bocage gets up top as Grizzlies. Cutler fires towards the net. It's blocked. Aliardi gets it as Aliardi skates around Cutler. Right side, Aliardi fakes a shot, skates towards the circle. Righty shot saved by Cranley. Rebound shot and a score as Blake Bennett gets his 29th of the year. And Aliardi gets the second point of the first period. And with 2.1 seconds left in the first period, Blake Bennett does his best dancing moves as Aliardi and Bennett hug each other as Rush have taken a 2-1 lead. Aliardi faked the slap shot at the Utah line, skated towards the circle, took a shot that bounced off of Cranley, and Blake Bennett got the rebound and put it away for his 29th of the season. So if the Rush are going to have success, it's going to be Aliardi and Bennett, who have been two of their best performers all season. And they have combined for each of Rapid City's two goals tonight. So after Bocas scored about halfway through the first period, Aliardi and Bennett tally goals for Rapid City as the puck is dropped, and that will do it for 20 minutes over at the Monument as the Rush have a 2-1 lead as Aliardi redirected a Blake Bennett shot earlier in the first period, and then Aliardi fired away from the right wing. It bounced off of Cranley. Bennett got the rebound and put it away for his 29th of the season, which leads all league rookies. We'll come back and recap the first 20 minutes of play, and we'll also go over a check of the Mountain Division standings as well as some of the other scores uh, that have to do with uh, the Grizzlies and their pursuit of the postseason. It's game 63 of 72 in the regular year. Utah scored first with Alex Bocage as he scored from the right wing. Rapid City answered with goals from Aliardi and Blake Bennett. We'll come back and talk hockey on the other side. As a score after 20 minutes of play, it's a Rapid City rush two and the Utah Grizzlies won. 
Since 1939, America First has helped people start businesses, buy homes and cars, and achieve their financial goals. Today, our top priority is still the financial success of you and your family, which is why we're giving new members $100 when they sign up for a basic savings and checking account, and another $100 when they upgrade to premium checking and enroll in and use direct deposit. So head to AmericaFirst.com today and join the credit union that always puts its members first. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 40 new Kia Sportage models and save up to $2,500 off when you buy. Jerry Signer has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. Little wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lifetime. Jerry Signer Kia, South Jordan. Always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smiths app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Smiths, fresh. Back to Grizzlies hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting hanging out in the Grizz Cave, just trying to watch some hockey as the Grizzlies take on the Rapid City Rush. And the Rush lead two to one after one period. And we do apologize. Unfortunately, some of the key details have been going missing from time to time. For instance, it was a pretty similar body type, Bocage and Wesley. And I guessed wrong. I thought Wesley had scored, but it was Bocage that picked up his eighth of the year, 1040 into the first with Kyle Mayhew and Liam Dennison getting the assist. And that's certainly big for Dennison as that means it is his first professional point, as Dennison is making his second professional appearance. He earlier this season played at Merrimack College, completing a five-year college career where he had just about 150 block shots in his college career. And Dennison does have some familiar faces on the Grizzlies roster, including Mick Messner, who was his teammate at Merrimack for a few seasons. Remember, Messner started his college career at Wisconsin and then transferred to Merrimack, where I believe he played for three seasons. In two of those years, Mayhew and Dennison were teammates. The Rush tied it up with a five-on-five goal, 15-22 in, as Allie Artie redirected the Blake Bennett shot as Bennett was along, along the far boards in the Grizzly zone and fired towards the net. Aliardi, if he got a piece of it, it was just a slight piece as the puck flew off Aliardi's stick and flew uh, past Will Cranley's left shoulder as Aliardi got his 25th of the year and Blake Bennett and Brett Davis picked up the assist. And really for Rapid City, their bread and butter this season has been the combination of Blake Bennett and Alex Aliardi. They have been Rapid City's two best scorers this season. Well, very late in the first period, Blake Bennett got the puck. He was along, or Ali already got the puck along the right wing, skated towards the Grizzlies line, got to the Utah blue line along the near side, faked the slap shot, got you know, kept the puck, skated towards the near circle, and just before he got to the near circle, fired away on Cranley. Puck bounced off of Cranley's chest to stayed in play, and bait Blake Bennett just skated down the middle, got the rebound, and put it away. For his 29th of the season, the time of goal was 1958 into the first. Bennett got his 29th of the year. Aliardi uh, picked up his 40th assist this season, and Zach Hoffman also got an assist, which is his 10th of the campaign. So for Rapid City, it's been the Aliardi and Bennett show, and that's why the Rush have a 2-1 lead after one period. The Grizzlies outshot the Rush 15-12 to in the first period. Will Cranley stopped 10 of 12, and for Rapid City, Matt Radomski, who saw 42 shots last night, he was pretty busy once again. He saved 14 of 15. There wasn't a single power play by either team in the first period, and we didn't get many power plays last night. Utah was 1 for 2 on the power play, and Rapid City was 0 for 1. So we were skating 5 on 5 the entire time. 
For the Grizzlies in their 15 shots, Bo Kosh had one goal as he scored from the right wing. He led Utah with three shots, and that's really not much of a surprise as Bo Kosh come, came into play tonight with 90 shots in 19 games. So Bo Kosh has really been a guy who's been uh, instrumental to the Grizzlies' offensive success, averaging just about five shots per game. And for Bo Kosh, he picked up his fourth goal against the Rush this season. Brett Stapley. Luke Manning and Josh Wesley each had two shots for the Grizzlies, and then a few other Grizzly skaters had one shot, including Messner, Fitz, and Berg, as well as Liam Dennison, uh, Nathan Burke, and Brandon Cutler. Cutler is second in the league in shots on goal this season with 235. For Rapid City, they had 12 shots in the frame. Alex Aliardi had four shots. Uh, Parker Bowman had two, and then a few other rush skaters had one shot through 20 minutes of play. It's a big game in the Mountain Division standings for both teams. For the Grizzlies, they're in fourth place in the Mountain Division with 61 standings points. They are, they've got a winning percentage of 492. And with a victory today, the Grizzlies will be a 500 club once again with a record of 30, 30, and 3. But they're a game below 500 right now, and they trail 2-1 to one to Rapid City. As for the Rush, they are in last place in the Mountain Division with 49 standings points, and they're 12 points behind Utah for fourth place in the Mountain Division. There's two games in the league we're keeping an eye out for, uh, other than the Grizzlies and Rush, of course. Uh, Allen hosts Kansas City. Remember, Allen last night got a 6-4 to victory over Kansas City, and the Americans are four points behind Utah for fourth place in the Mountain Division. And we're also keeping an eye out for Tulsa and Idaho. That game got started at the same time the Grizzlies game got underway. Uh, Tulsa won last night 4-1, to one, and the Oilers have picked up three out of four standings points for the series. And Tulsa is two points ahead of Utah for third place in the Mountain Division. So a Tulsa loss and a Utah victory means the Grizzlies would be tied with Tulsa for third place in the Mountain Division. When we come back to the Utah Grizzlies intermission report, We'll go over the scores of the Tulsa-Idaho game as well as what's going on with Allen and Kansas City as, re as well as the rest of the league scoreboard. Through one period, Rapid City leads 2-1 to one as they got goals from Alex Haliardi and Blake Bennett. Utah got the first goal of the night, and Alex Bokaj was the optim first goal of the game score. And if you pick Bokaj, congratulations, you're a winner. We'll come back and give you some scores from around the league as Rapid City has a 2-1 a to one lead over the Grizzlies. This is the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto Kennecott. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 40 new Kia Sportage models and save up to $2,500 off when you buy. Jerry Signer has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. What a wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lifetime. Jerry Center, Kia, Salt Lake. First intermission over the monument, and Rapid City leads Utah 2-1. to one. Other scores from around the world of sports. Through two periods, Kansas City leads Allen 2-1. to one. That's certainly what the Grizzlies fans want, as Allen is trailing Utah by four standings points for fourth place in the Mountain Division. Kansas City has goals from Patrick Curry and Jacob Hayhurst. The former rush skater, James Hardy, has Allen's lone goal. He got his 13th of the season, 305, into the first period. So there was a lot of action early on. Patrick Curry actually scored 17 seconds into the contest, and then uh, Hardy scored uh, 305 in to get the Allen Americans on the board. As Kansas City got a second period goal by Jacob Hayhurst, 1237 in. And that's the difference in the game as, as uh, Kansas City leads Allen 2-1 to one after two periods. The other game we're keeping an eye out for 
through one period over at Idaho Central Arena. The Stillheads lead the, the Oilers 2 to nothing as Idaho got goals from Ty Pelton Bice and A.J. White. For White, he's had another outstanding year as he now has 23 goals this season. Both teams had 14 shots in the first period. Neither team had a power play, and Idaho scored two goals in the final nine minutes of the first period. They lead Tulsa 2 to nothing. So if you're a Grizzlies fan, it's that rare moment where you are rooting for Idaho to win because obviously uh, Tulsa is that team that's immediately ahead of Utah for third place in the Mountain Division. Other action in the league, one of the games that, that's going on in progress, uh, Kalamazoo and Cincinnati are tied at two with four minutes left in the third period. Games that have gone fine on the league. Newfoundland defeats Maine 6-2. to two. Twelve Riviere defeats South Carolina 4-1. to one. It was also a 4-1 final as Jeff Carr's Norfolk Admirals defeated Adirondack in a game that was filled with a lot of penalty minutes uh, in the second period as Mark Lewiski uh, got aggressive physically. Yanni Peretz got the start in net for Norfolk, and he stopped 26 of 27. It was a hat trick for Danny Caddick for Norfolk, who wears number 12. He had three goals and one assist for the Admirals in the victory. Norfolk four, Adirondack one. Uh, Adirondack stays in first place in the North Division, but Norfolk closes the gap by two points. Orlando defeats Atlanta two to one. Savannah gets a 6-3 road victory over Florida. A bit of a surprise. Florida's record goes to 34-27-2. Toledo defeats Indy 5-2. And in a shootout, Jacksonville over Greenville 4-3. Uh, two other fi- uh, three other finals. Reading defeats Worcester in overtime 2-1. Iowa gets a 3-2 victory over Wichita. The Thunder are putting together last-second hopes to try to make a playoff run. And tonight certainly didn't help as Iowa gets a 3-2 victory. Wheeling over Fort Wayne, 3-1. And um, that's the league scoreboard. There's 14 games in the league as all 28 teams are in action tonight. When we come back, we'll go over the NHL scores. And we'll also have second period action over at the Monument as Rapid City leads Utah 2-1. This is the Rio Tinto Kennecott Intermission Report on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. At Black Bear Diner, you always get more. More choice, more amazing food, more value from huge breakfasts to delicious lunches and hearty dinners. Black Bear Diner has more for you. So get more when you want it, the way you want it, and get it today. Good old-fashioned family food, Black Bear Diner. Black Bear Diner. From commercial to recreational truck accessories, Mountain Land Truck Outfitters has got what you need. Flatbeds, spray and bed liners, lifts and leveling kits, wheels and tires. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters proudly uses a brand you know and trust. And with our experienced, knowledgeable, and friendly staff, your visit here will be informative and enjoyable. Stop into our convenient location in Provo at 265 South 100 West or call 801-225-4637 to get a quote for your fleet or individual truck. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters. Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting. Second period action will begin shortly over in the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Some NHL action tonight. Games have gone final. The Islanders defeat Winnipeg 6-3. Philadelphia over Boston 3-2. In overtime, the Blues get a 5-4 victory over the Minnesota Wild. Nashville shuts out Detroit 1-0. Ottawa gets a 5-2 victory over New Jersey. Toronto defeats Edmonton 6-3. Uh, Games are going on in a few minutes. At 8 o'clock, Calgary is at Vancouver. Uh, Calgary is the NHL affiliate of the Rapid City Rush. At 8.30, Tampa Bay is at L.A. And also at 8.30, Columbus is at the Vegas Golden Knights. And also at 8.30, Chicago is at San Jose. Uh, After two periods, one game in progress, currently going on on national TV on ABC, Florida and the New York Rangers are tied at two. It is kind of a Barbie theme to tonight's game over at the Monuments. We're seeing quite a few Barbie clips on the Flow Sports screen. And Nuggets dressed up for the occasion. Everybody else dressed up as well. Rapid City leads Utah 2-1. We'll come back in one minute and have second period action. This has been the Rio Tinto Kennecott Intermission Report on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. This isn't just copper. 
It's our job. It's food on our family's tables. Without it, we couldn't stay in touch. It's what keeps our homes warm and our lights on. It's the power behind the team and a greener, brighter future. This isn't just copper. It's a proud Utah and a strong America. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 30 new Kia Seltos models and save up to 2,000 off when you buy. Jerry Signer has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. Little wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lot. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. At Black Bear Diner, you always get more. More choice, more amazing food, more value. So get more and get it today. Black Bear Diner. Welcome back to Grizzlies Hockey. Rapid City leads 2-1. to one. We'll have second period action here in a couple minutes. Well, it's going to be tough for this Saturday night affair to topple what we had over the last two Saturdays. You talk about two of the more thrilling games in Utah Grizzlies history. That's what we had at Maverick Center over the last two Saturdays. Remember, two weeks ago, Utah was hosting Rapid City in the rush at a 4-2 lead. Brandon Cutler scored two goals for the Grizz over the final 12 minutes and 15 seconds of regulation to tie up the score at 4-4. Alex Bokaj, who went into overtime with one goal and three assists, he scored the game winner 253 into overtime as he ended the night with five points. And that effort single-handedly gave him the League's Player of the Week award for March 4th through the 10th. It was the first time a Grizzly player had won the Player of the Week award since Jordan Martell uh, got it in the final week of the regular season last year as the Grizzlies clinched a playoff spot with a three-game sweep over the Tulsa Oilers. And, of course, last Saturday, it was the military night miracle as the Grizzlies were trailing 4-1 to one late in the third period with about three minutes left. And you talk about a thriller. It was an interesting ending where, you know, the Grizzlies got a five-on-three power play. Kyle Mayhew scored, and then uh, the Grizzlies scored 48 seconds later and then 20 seconds after Dylan Fitz uh, redirected a Kyle Mayhew shot. It was Josh Wesley who tied it up, and that turned out to be the play of the week in the league as Grizzlies tied it up at four, and then Wesley scored the overtime game winner as Grizzlies defeated the Norfolk Admirals 5-4, to four, one of the more thrilling victories in Utah Grizzlies history. Utah will skate from left to right as we see it from Flow Sports. Your minds, I see it on YouTube. Rapid City will be skating from right to left as 20 minutes are put on the scoreboard clock. As Brett Stapley will take the drives out there with Nathan Burke and Brandon Cutler. As a draw, it's actually Berg and not Burke. Burke started the first period, but Berg is starting the second period for Utah. Grizzlies win the draw. Mayhew gets it to Stapley. The University of Denver connection. Stapley right wing will fling it around the boards. Berg chases after it, gets it behind Rapid City's net. He skates towards the far corner. Is he strong with the puck? He gets to Cutler, who moves it up top to Mayhew, who pitches it back to the far corner as Berg slices across to Wesley, who fakes a shot. Wesley, right point, righty shot goes wide as he puts it then into the end boards. Berg has to go past him as Rapid City angles it. It's picked off by Mayhew. Far circle, shot goes wide as a Grizzly player goes flying. And it's going to be a penalty on Rapid City as Adam Berg was about five feet in front of the crease. Zach Hoffman puts both palms in the air as it appears he has picked up the first penalty of the game. And 39 seconds into the second period, the Grizzlies are going to have their first power play of the contest. Utah was one for two on the power play last night. For the season, the Grizzlies are 19.9%. As Zach Hoffman gets two minutes in the box, we didn't get to see the referee's signal as to what the penalty is. But the Grizzlies are on the power play. Watch out for Brandon Cutler. He will take the face off. He's got seven power play goals this season. Also watch out for Bokash in the left wing as Utah wins the draw. Stapley up top gets to Mayhew. He's on the left side. Back to Stapley. Near side now up top to Cutler who moves it to Bokash. Back to Cutler who faked a one-timer. Gets it and he'll throw it to Stapley along the right wing. Stapley skates towards the near circle, gets to Cutler down the middle. He'll take a lefty shot. Glove saved by Radomski 
And he holds on as we get a whistle with 142 left in the power play and 1903 left in the second. Brett Stapley leads the Grizzlies in power play points this season as he has 20 power play points, including six goals and 14 assists. Utah wins the draw. Bocage gets the fits back to Bocage. He feeds it up top left side. Mayhew across to Stapley. Right side, Stapley trying to get it across. And he does towards Bocage. Shot is blocked away by Radomski. Stapley shot saved by Radomski along the near goal line. Rush couldn't clear it out. As Grizzlies along the near goal line get up top to Stapley. Stapley. Flings it across, left side, Cutler back to Bocage. Bocage in the far circle, dance around as he dangles with the puck as he surveys. Now get to Cutler down the middle, lefty shot, saved by Radomski, and he holds on as Tyson Helgeson getting very physical at Dylan Fitz as all Fitz was doing was trying to get a potential loose puck as Tyson Helgeson is risking getting a penalty as Helgeson's yelling at Dylan Fitz and giving him a lecture about getting too close to Matt Radomski. To Fitz's defense, it looked like Radomski had bobbled the puck for a brief second before holding on to it as Tyson Helgeson um, was really giving it to Dylan Fitz as both teams will change up skaters. Dron's going to stay in the rush zone as some fans see themselves in the video board. I don't think what that one fan did was Disney approval, though. Luke Manning will take the draw against Brett Gravel as a draw won by Rapid City goes towards the end boards. Utah gets it back. Grizz will bank it off the near boards. Gallant on the right side moves it across as Wesley gets it back to Gallant, back to Wesley, who fakes a one timer. Wesley trying to get it across. It bounced into the middle as loose puck. Rapid City gets it and they clear it out. Chasing after it's Cole Gallant. He gets it at the far goal line, drops it for Wesley, who skates around Cranley's net. Wesley, the Grizzlies captain, has 16 goals this season, including seven on the power play across the center ice. Now he drop it back for Burke, who steps over the line, right side, left side. He'll tap it off the far boards. Wesley over the blue line, far side. He gets the puck. He feeds it to Gallant, who skates towards the left point, back to Wesley. One-timer is blocked away by Radomski, and the momentum goes all the way out to center ice. 20 seconds left in the power play as Gallant right wing crosses center ice. Great speed. He'll move it to his left. Down the middle, Messner lefty shot. Saved by Radomski. Rush get, and they clear it out. Chasing after it's Coella. Cranley over in the near corner, throws it around his net. Wesley far side gets it. Four, four seconds left in the power play. Grizzlies cross center as Burke skates towards his right. He'll chip it back to the left as Hoffman comes out of the box. As Grizzlies back at their blue line as they'll skate towards the far corner as they feed it across to Stucker. Stucker will outlet it ahead. And the pass goes deep into the rush zone as he got redirected at new tries. Rush will tap it off the near glass. Coella will drop it off as Rydell skates down the middle. Now he feeds it to his left, back towards Rydell in the give and go, and the Grizzlies poke it away. Utah crosses center. Aragon right wing will fire it towards Radomski. It goes wide as ricochets off the end board. Berg over skates it. Penner in the area as well as Muzika will throw it to the left side. Grizzlies get it right. He shot is sticked away by Radomski. Utah trying to get it to Penner out in front. Puck goes behind the Rap City net as Stucker gets up top right side. Aragon over to Stucker. Stucker fires a righty shot. Saved by Radomski. He holds on with 16-29 left in the second. It's the rush two and the Grizzlies one. Utah had a couple decent looks on the power play. Rapid City goaltender Matt Radomski is off to a pretty good start here tonight. He is 6'2 and 192 pounds out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. He signed an AHL contract with the Calgary Wranglers before the season. Radomski in his first year as a pro. Cutler will take the draw. He's on the right side as Jake Stella will take it for Rapid City. He's the second line center tonight. As lines will drop it again. Stella, a native of Sweden. And I kind of think about that Seinfeld reference when Elaine had too many pain pills thinking about Stella. Stella! Utah wins the draw. Right side, Stapley swings and misses. He gets it back, skates towards the near corner. Stapley around the net gets held up by Muzika. As Kenton Helgeson pushes Mick Messner along the boards, as Radomski looks over his right shoulder action behind him, as Wicker skates in. Wicker's wearing a shield over his face as he got hit up high early in the game. As Wicker's gets it towards Stapley, as the puck, the pile now ends up on the far side. Wicker's gets it left point, stops, and throws it back to the corner that was vacated. Stapley gathers it. He's got 21 points over his last 10 games. 
deeply trying to get it to Wickers, but it bounced off a rush skater as it goes back to center ice. Wickers dumps it back in as Grizzlies, we believe, make a full line change away from the play as we're about four minutes and 20 seconds into the second period. Rush lead two to one. Rapid City far side stops before they get to the circle. They take a shot that goes wide. They're looking for a redirection out in front as Stapley gets the puck and he'll steer it ahead. As it goes past Brandon Cutler, Cutler didn't get a piece of it. As Utah gets called for icing with 15-29 left in the second. You know, seeing Ryan Gosling there in Barbie kind of reminds me of when he was in the movie Remember the Titans. Remember, he was that terrible cornerback that kept getting beat time and time and time again. Eventually ended up sitting the bench for the Titans. Looks like he's off to a good career, though, Ryan Gosling. At least I think that's what his name is. Staple will take the draw near side. I'm not really a movie buff. As Utah wins the draw, Cutler skates along the near side. He gets tripped up. Is a call going to be made? As Bocage over on the right side steps over the line, he'll dump it into the near wing boards. Bocage gets hit by Hoffman, who delivers a good shoulder check. We're skating five on five. Corbett gets it across to Dennison. Left side, lefty shot goes wide. As the puck hit ops behind Radomski's net. Cutler gets it back up top to Dennison. Left side will chip it towards the middle for Bokaj. Bokaj, high slot, righty shot goes wide. Rapid City skates around their net as they'll bounce it off the skate in the near point. Rapid City will clear it into the Grizzly zone, chasing after its alley artis. He boxes out Dennison. Dennison wearing number 22, 5'9", 185 pounds. He pushes alley Hardy. as rush over the near corner, get the puck as they're in the attack zone. Davis gets it back to alley Hardy. As Aliardi tries to get away from Dennison, as Aliardi feeds it across, it goes to Zach Taylor. Looks like he's going to be a pretty good pro. Over to Bennett in the near goal line. Bennett skates towards the near boards, drops it for Rydell. She fakes it to Rydell, but loses control of the puck as it goes out to center ice. Rush get it back. Taylor, left wing pass, bounces off a, skate, a stick. Bennett tries a crowd, gets off the end boards, fires a sharp angle shot that hits the side of the net. As Janelle over there with Bennett. As Janelle gets the puck around Utah's net, he'll feed it to the far circle. Righty shot is blocked away. And now it goes to the high slot. Rydell takes a lefty shot. That's blocked by Gallant. Far side. Rush trying to feather it out in front. Pass goes wide of the mark. Rush get it up top. Lefty shot. Bounces off the end boards. Bowman gets it. Shot and a score. And it's now a 3-1 game as the Rush fired away from the high slot. of ricocheted off the end boards. And Parker Bowman poked it past Cranley into the back of the net. Bowman gets his second of the year. As this is just his 10th game with a rush. As pretty good instincts by Bowman watching it off the end boards. Cranley slid towards his right to try to cut off the angle, but Bowman crossed the, was able to get the puck past Cranley. So with 13.59 left in the second, it's the rush three, and the Grizzlies won. As a drop, one by Utah as Wesley back in his own zone crosses center ice. Now he steps in right side as he gets divorced from the puck on a nice check by Peter Muzika. As Kenton Helgeson moves it towards the far side as the puck happy ops towards the near corner. Rapid City locates it. They get the puck as they'll push it ahead to neutralize. Pass goes by the Mark Mayhew gets at the Utah line as he's being chased by Garrett Klotz. Klotz the big 6'6", 245-pound forward. Mayhew steps over the line, but loses the puck. Klotz along the near side gets it to Janelle. Janelle's a big 6'4", forward. He'll skate towards the near circle. Lefty shot, saved by Cranley. Rebound goes towards the near side. It's taken by Utah. Fitz skates down the middle. And so bouncing off a rush skate. Rapid City gets it back at neutralized. They cross center and fling it around the boards. Klotz near side gets it. He's an old vet who knows all the tricks. As Klotz over to the near corner, chases after it. As Penner over in the area. Now left side, lefty shot goes wide. That was taken by Brett Gravel. Right side, rush, fire towards the net. Cranley makes the save. Rapid City hacking away. Wesley gets the puck as it's still alive. Wesley gets the center ice, crossed the red, tried to dump it in, but it just went towards the Rapid City line before the rush got it back. Helgeson left wing over the line, gets the St. Oz, who feathers it up top. Puck bounced off a few skates. Grizzlies will tattoo it off the near boards. Gallant right wing gets it. He pivots, skates towards the near circle. Looks to center it out in front to Messner. Pass goes wide. Messner gallops after it. Gets it in the far side. Feeds it up top. Now the puck goes back towards Rapid City. Long range pass is picked off at center ice. As the Grizzlies enter from the right. Burke gets hit by Hoffman. And Rapid City comes away with the puck. As Russia finished checks pretty well tonight. Rush will dump it in to Zach Taylor, who's a 5'11", 185-pound defenseman, making his second pro appearance, native of Newcastle, Ontario. 
As the draw deep in, is the puck is deep in the Grizzly zone. Utah comes out of the pile with the puck as they'll move it ahead. Burt trying to locate it. He finally does and flings the left wing pass. Grizzlies get it across to Gallant, who danced around the near circle. He waits for everybody else to enter the zone. Gallant will dump it to the near corner as it's cut off by Will Rydell. Rush will tap it off the far boards. It goes back to center ice. Grizzlies push it back into their own end. Cody Corbett, who's played over 300 pro games, enters the zone right side. He'll skate towards the circle as he tried to center it to Berg, and the puck bounced off a rush skater. Now Corbett, right side, fires towards the net, and it bounced off a stick and rolls towards um, Radomski, who covers up with 11.29 left in the second. It's the rush three, and the Grizzlies one, as Utah's looking for a comeback attempt. As the rush, two goals in the first and one here in the second. We'll come back in 45 seconds as the rush have a two-goal lead on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Smith's always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower-than-low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Smith's fresh for everyone. When you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro Card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. It's the Rush 3 and the Grizzlies 1 on what looks like Barbie night over in Rapid City. Rush had a 2-1 to one lead after one period. Parker Bowman scored 6-0-1 into the second as Riley Janelle shot from the high sl slot, ricocheted off the end boards. Bowman got it, and with quick instincts, was able to quickly get it past Will Cranley. Blake Bennett also got an assist. He now has one goal and two assists on the night as he has contributed to all three of Rapid City's goals. Draw deep in the rush zone. Near a circle, it's won by Utah. Brandon Cutler, right side, fires towards the net. It goes wide. Cutler's got eight goals in his last 10 games as Brett Davis crosses center ice right wing. He'll move it to his right, rush into the zone. They get it back to Davis, who's in the far circle. He's trying to get it back in the give and go. Stapley took it away. Stapley left side, steps over the line, three on two. Skates towards his right. Stapley looks to center at nobody home as the pass was behind Brandon Cutler as the rush will loft it out to center ice. Wesley gets the bouncing puck as he's on the right side as he'll skip it in right side as Rydell gets hit by Berg. Berg's still on his feet. Rapid City far side will fling it out to the Grizzlies zone. Pass connects. Allie Hardy right circle. Randy shot saved by Cranley. Rebound goes towards Coella. Far corner. Fires towards the net. Shot saved by Cranley. Rebound. Davis couldn't get a handle on it for the second look. Left side. Muzika bouncing off of Stapley. Now down the middle is Nathan Burke. He'll lay it to Stapley, right side, righty shot, saved by Radomski, left side, lefty shot goes wide, taken by Cutler. Rapid City gets it, and they'll drag it out to center ice. Rush cross center, Grizzlies back defensively. As Yamamoto dumps it in, Cranley behind his net, will drift it towards the far side. As bounced off a skate, Parker Bowman goes down. As they continue to battle along the far wall, Bowman trying to locate it. As he gets strong with the puck, as he gets around Burke. Rush feed it up top, right point. As Helgeson fakes a shot, Kenton that is, he'll get it to his right, righty shot, saved by Cranley. Cutler gets a rebound off Cranley, across the center ice, no dump it in. Gallant glides very quickly towards it. Gallant, one of the faster players in Grizzlies history. Over to Bocage, tapped off of him back to new tries. Stucker right wing, gets the wobbling puck, and he'll wire it around the boards. Left side, Grizzlies get it up top. Wickers across to Stucker, just outside the right circle. It'll take a righty shot that's blocked by a Rapid City stick, and it goes all the way to the center ice logo. Wickers over to Stucker. He's at the Utah blue line as the Grizzlies change up forwards. Stucker directs it back towards Wickers, who gets it back to Stucker down the middle. Stucker glides towards his right to neutralize as Buck lifts off of Grinnell's stick as the rush. Long-range pass doesn't connect. It goes deep in the Grizzlies zone. No icing as Cranley behind his net. We'll force it towards the far wing boards. Right side, rush, righty shot, saved by Cranley. Puck still alive as it rolls towards the near side. Tyson Helgeson tries to center it out in front. Too many sticks in the way as it goes towards the far wing. As Rap City over towards Brett Gravel. Now it's in the slot. Lefty shot goes wide. That was taken by Stella. Now the puck glides in front of the crease, and Cranley covers up. As there's 8.47 left in the second. It's the rush three, and the Grizzlies one. 
Alex Bokosh scored 1040 into the first period, and Rapid City has responded with three unanswered. This is the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Schwab tires. I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. It's a rush three, and the Grizzlies won. Rapid City's got a decent shot edge in the second period. Rush about shot the Grizzlies 10 to 8 so far in the second. As we haven't had many power plays, just one power play in the game. Rapid City's Zach Hoffman got an interference minor 39 seconds into the second period. As Luke Martin will take the draw against Jake Stella. Stella, wearing number 16, 5'11", 185 pounds. Looks bigger than that. Utah wins the draw as Wesley. Near side, will direct it out to center ice. As the puck bounces back into the Grizzlies' own far side, Manning gets over to Mayhew, who dance around the far goal line. Now start the attack. Ahead to Manning down the middle. He'll veer off to the right as he steps over the line. Manning skates towards the near corner, tries to center it. Tyson Helgeson takes him away as he knocked down Manning. Messner feeds it up top left point. Mayhew skates towards his right, fakes it to Wesley. Now Mayhew will lay it for Cutler, right point. Cutler will bounce it towards the middle. Mayhew make that Messner, right side, swings and misses. Now it goes to Brett Gravel. He crosses center ice. He's trying to get to Hoffman. Grizzlies poke it away as Wesley will steer it over to May Messner, who dumps it in. It didn't get all the way to the near corners. Rapid City pushes back to the center ice. Cutler across towards Corbett, who steps over the line. He stops in the point, waits for everybody else to enter. As Corbett dumps it in deep, Tyson Helgeson over in the far corner. We'll move it ahead. Now across to Stella. He's in the near circle. Estella with a long-range pass as the flight goes into the Grizzlies zone. Far corner, Rapid City gets it. As now Utah took it away. Grizzlies throw it around their net, chasing after its Cole Gallant. Aliardi feeds it up top. Nobody home. As Taylor chasing after it, deep in the rush zone. Taylor avoids a check of Nathan Burke as the puck goes towards the near side. Bokaj delivers a hit. hit. Gallant skates towards the end boards. He gets a double team. Now Bokaj right side shot. It's the side of the net. Might have gotten a piece of Radomski as action over in the near corner. Gallant over with Burke. Burke dances around. He gets it back to Gallant along the near wall. As Gallant feeds it across to Corbett. Lefty shot is blocked away. It goes back to Corbett who dumps it in deep as Gallant. Far side, we'll get it over to Berg. High slot, lefty shot goes wide as he just missed glove side on Radomski. Now it goes back to Rapid City as Aliardi will carry it out to Neutrice. He's got two points tonight. He'll bank it off the near boards. Goes back to Utah. Stucker over to Stapley, over skates. Now Stapley gets to Bokaj, who skates to the right side. Bokaj over to the near goal line for Berg. He'll take a shot kick saved by Radomski. Aliardi will bounce it off the wickers. He keeps it in high slot. He'll take a lefty shot saved by Radomski. Rebound to the near side. As Berg will drop it for Stucker. Grizzly skating from left to right here in the second period. Stapley across to Corbett, who gets it up top to Stucker. Back to the left side. Corbett will steer it to Stapley. He's in the left side. Stapley throws it up top to Utah, who swings and misses from the high slot as the puck goes back to center ice. Stucker head to Stapley as Taylor one hands it away. Grizzlies get it back in their own zone as Wickers far circle with six minutes left in the second period. Well, bouncing off a of Grizzly, Utah hustling towards the near side, beginning their first is Klotz, who skates towards the near corner, stops as Klotz stops behind Utah's net. He gets it to the near side as Gravel over to Klotz, who tried to get it back towards Gravel, who couldn't handle it down the middle as high slot. Kenton Helgeson's shot is blocked by his own guy in Janelle. Right side, Klotz at the point, trying to get to Janelle. Bounced off a of Grizzly as it goes out of play. Is it going to be delay of game? The officials are talking it over now as Klotz tried to feed it into the corner. Grizzlies batted it out of play. 
Uh, so it could be delay of game. Maybe it bounced off the glass. We're not really sure. Timeout on the ice. Five, 30, uh, five minutes and 35 seconds are left in the second. We're back in one minute as Rapid City leads Utah 3-1 to one on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Why is Jerry Siner the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 40 new Kia Sportage models and save up to $2,500 off when you buy. Jerry Siner has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. What a wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lifetime. Jerry Center, Kia, Salt Lake. When you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro Card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. It's the rush three and the Grizzlies one. There's 535 left in the second period. Looks like there's five skaters for the Grizzlies, so no delay of game on the play. As Tyler Penner will take the draw against Riley Janelle for Rapid City. Janelle has three goals and three assists this season. This is 37th game. Rush win the draw right side. Kenton Helgeson skates towards his left. Lefty shot is blocked away as it bounces off the glass. Janelle gets up top. Musica left point shot is blocked as it bounced off his own guy. Grizzlies cross center. Fitz gets side checked and Musica takes a puck away as Fitz knocks it down in the far corner. Penalty is going to be calling. It's going to be on Fitz. Klotz goes to confront Fitz as Muzika went down in the far corner as Dylan Fitz gets Utah's first penalty of the game with 514 left in the second. As the rush player down on one knee, slow to get back to his feet. Rapid City's best player yesterday was Mark Duarte, uh, who had two goals for the rush. He is serving a one-game suspension. It was Muzika that's down. He's back to his feet as Fitz goes to the Rogers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell as he will serve a two-minute penalty. Rush lead 3-1 to one this season. They are 15.8% um, on the power play. The rush have the... 22nd and last place power play on the season. Grizzlies penalty kill is 74.9%, which ranks 28th in the league. So a draw is going to come back towards Will Cranley. Grizzlies have outshot the rush 26 to 22. The suspension that Dwart got, it was an unpenalized slew foot that happened about four and a half minutes into the third period. As the drop over in the near circle is won by Rapid City. High slot. They get it to Bennett in the left. He'll skeet towards the circle. will feed it to the near goal line. Allie already chips out in front. Davis swings and misses. Left side as Taylor dance around the high slot over to Bennett. Left side he feeds to Allie already along the near goal line. Allie already shoulder, shoulder shakes. Gets it to Bennett back to Allie already, who skeets back towards the left point. Now towards his right. Allie already over to Bennett. What timer saved by Cranley. As it's blocked towards the near side, Davis gets it. Make that Taylor, number 22. Taylor towards his right. He's now in the high slot. Righty shot goes wide as Taylor looking for his first pro goal. Puck glides along the far side. Bennett gets it. He'll fire towards the net. It goes wide as Davis will push it back to the far side. Rapid City is on the power play for the next minute, 17. Bennett, far side, backhand shot goes wide. Bennett gets it back, and he'll glide it towards Aliardi along the near wall. Aliardi at the point, skates over towards the circle. Now he chips it across. Bennett at the right side, feeds it up top. And the puck exited the zone as the rush will have to reset. Aliardi gets it back to Taylor. Zach Taylor in his second pro game over to Aliardi. He skates down the middle. He steps over the line. Gets around Wesley. Right side shot. Saved by Cranley. Grizzlies get it. Aragon clears it out. And let's see. The puck must have sailed out of play as with 50 seconds left in the main advantage. Play is stopped with 403 left in the second. So draw is going to stay in the Grizzly zone. Aragon cleared it out. I mean, he must have cleared it out out of play. As Penner will take the draw against Parker Bowman, who scored 601 into the second period for his second of the year. As a draw one by Rapid City, they're on the power play for the next 46 seconds. Rapid City over to the left wing. Rydell moves it, moves it across the right side. Now back up top to Rydell. Over to the far circle as Rush. Feed it back to Rydell who directs it back towards his right as Rush dance around. Gravel feeds it to the end boards as Rapid City to the right side gets up top to 
Rydell, high slot, lefty shot goes wide. Bowman gallops after along the near side. He gets up top to Yamamoto, dances around. Yamamoto feeds up top to Rydell, who pushes to his right as the rush. Stir it back to Rydell, who gets it back towards a far circle. Rush fake a one-timer and gather it as Coella will drop it off as Rush skate towards their left and they'll lay it for Rydell. Four seconds left in the power play. They get it up top. Gravel swings and shoots, saved by Cranley as it bounced off of Wickers onto Cranley, who covers up as the power play is over. Bowman pushes Wickers, and Bowman will now cease and assist and skate towards his bench as Dylan Fitz is out of the penalty box. It's a successful penalty kill for the Grizzlies as both teams are 0 for 1 on the power play here in the second period. There's three minutes and 13 seconds left in the second. It's still Rapid City 3, Utah 1. As Grizzlies, Alex Bokaj scored 10 40 in with Mayhew and Liam Dennison getting the assists. As it appears my screen is froze. But 313 left in the in the second. As draws gonna be in the near circle. It's one by Rapid City. Klotz gets it up top. As Tyson Helgeson fires towards the net, it goes wide. Klotz will feed it towards the far corner. Mayhew in the area. As Puck will hip it up onto Josh Wesley behind Utah's net. He'll skate towards the near side. Less than three minutes left in the period. Wesley pushes out the center ice. It's taken back by the rush. Rapid City tried to move it out towards Stella. And the puck lines back towards the Rapid City line. Helgeson near side. 243 and counting left in the second. As he gets bounced by a Grizzly. Berg hits the boards. Now Utah gets it ahead. Staple at center ice. Gets hit by Klotz. Klotz loses a stick. As Cutler takes the puck, he'll skate towards his left. He moves it ahead towards Mayhew, couldn't reach it. Mayhew chasing after it. Tyson Helgeson will lay it for Hoffman, who's got one assist tonight. He'll push it towards a far circle. Now back to the corner. Grizzly survey deep in the attack zone. Berg trying to break free as he skates towards a point. Now he gets pinned towards the wall. Berg still with the puck, gets it to Gallant, far circle. He loses it as Tyson Helgeson cut in front of him. Rapid City gets a new trice. Over to Klotz on the left side. He'll dump it in. Klotz lumbers. To chase after it as Klotz delivers a big shot. He's been a physical presence for Rapid City over the last handful of games. Bokaj skates new tries, and my screen froze again as we got about two minutes left in the second period. As Rapid City leads three to one. Now the Grizzlies apparently fire under Radomski, makes a save with 150 left in the second period. As my screen had froze for a little bit as. I guess the gymnastics people are taking up all the internet here at Maverick Center. It's 3-1 Rapid City, 150 left in the second period. Draws going to be in the rush zone. Looks like a good Saturday night, night crowd over the monument. Certainly a bigger crowd than what they had last night. Fans having a good night and really having a good time on what appears to be Barbie night over at the monument. As the draw won by Utah, shot saved by Radomski. The shot was taken by Bokaj. Now Burke gets up top right side for Dennison. It moves to Corbett. Corbett just outside the far circle, takes a shot. It's blocked by Muzika, who gets the puck. He'll tap it off the far boards. Corbett over to Bokaj, left side. He fires towards the net, and it's blocked away in the far circle. Corbett, left side shot, is blocked away by Radomski. As Grizzlies, Burke gets up top, Corbett, high slot, lefty shot is blocked by Aliardi, who gets the puck along the near side. He'll get to center ice, he gets around Burke, Aliardi still with the puck, over to Bennett, who gets it back towards Aliardi, shot saved by Cranley, second shot goes wide, as Rapid City looking for the rebound, puck back to center ice. Helgeson, right wings it out, as Aliardi dumps it in, Rush make a full line change, as there's now less than one minute left in the second period. Grizzlies move it to the far side, pass goes wide, Messner as Rapid City's stick breaks. Messner loses the stick. Bowman as well. Rush, get it ahead. Far circle. As they skate towards the end boards, throw it around the net. Corbett wings it to the far side. Grizzlies get the Stapley. Ah, he gets a good side check by Bowman as the puck kept ops towards the far circle. Stapley drops for Messner, but he couldn't handle it. High slot. Manning shot is blocked by Rydell. Now left wing, lefty shot. Saved by Radomski. And he holds on with 26 seconds left in the second. As Tyson Helgeson is having a conversation with referee Tyler Haskell, he wants a Utah penalty. As there's 26 seconds left in the second. Draws going to be in the rush zone. Grizzlies up to 30 shots. They had 42 
in last night's game, uh, Rapid City usually among the league, you know, they're, they're, usually Rapid City is a team that allows about 35 plus shots per game. Um, so far this season, they allow 34.4 shots per contest. So draws give me the rush zone, 26 seconds left in the second period. As Stapley will take the draw. Stapley and Cutler, they've certainly been instrumental to the Grizzlies' attack. Stapley leads Utah with 17 multiple point games this season. He wins the draw into Cutler. He's in the high slot who glides towards the right point. Cutler trying to get it to Burke, who was occupied, make that Burke. Uh, now the puck goes out to center ice and towards the Utah line. Stucker will tap it off the near glass. It goes flying in the air as it bounces off the Stapley's glove. He drops it, skates towards the corner. Grizzlies over the line. Rapid City clears it back to center. Five seconds left in the period. Stucker directs it over to Wickers, who outlets it to New Trice, and time runs out on the Grizzlies here in the second period. Well, Utah was a plus two in the goal margin in the third period last night, and they're certainly going to need a strong third period to come back here tonight. Remember, the Grizzlies are a plus 17 in the goal margin in the third periods over the last 26 games. For Rapid City, they have really struggled in the third periods this season, where they are a minus 37 in the goal differential. And so Utah is going to need a great third period if they want to come away with a victory here tonight. Through two periods over at the Monument, Rapid City leads Utah 3-1. to one. We'll come back and recap the first two frames, and we'll also go over some scores from around the world of sports, as well as some of those critical games. Uh, that the Grizzlies are going to be watching in the Mountain T Division. We'll give you an update on that Tulsa-Idaho score, as well as Allen, who's taking on Kansas City here tonight. We'll come back and give you some scores and also recap the first two periods as Rapid City scored the only goal in the second period. Parker Bowman, 6 one in. Both teams had one power play in the second period, and neither team found the back of the net on the man advantage. Through 40 minutes of play, it's Rapid City 3 and Utah won. Smith's always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Smith's Fresh. the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 40 new Kia Sportage models and save up to $2,500 off when you buy. Jerry Siner has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. What a wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lifetime. Jerry Siner Kia Salt Lake. <laughs> Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. Second intermission over at the Monument. Rapid City leads Utah 3-1. to one. I'm Tyson Wine. The Grizzlies score the first goal of the game as Alex Bocage was the opt-in first goal of the game score. He scored 10-40 in as he was over in the right wing and fired it past Matt Radomski. It was Utah's fifth shot of the night. Kyle Mayhew and Liam Dennison picked up the assist, and that's certainly notable for Dennison, who got his first professional point as he is playing his second pro game. As for Kyle Mayhew, well, he just continues to produce. He now has a point in eight of his last 11 games. As Mayhew now has 35 assists on the season, which ranks second on the club. So Utah took a 1-0 lead, 10-40, into the first. Less than five minutes later, Alex Aliardi redirected a Blake Bennett shot. 
And got Rapid City on the board, 15-22 in. Aliardi's 25th of the year. He now has a point in 12 straight games. Uh, Bennett and Brett Davis picked up the assists. At the very end of the first period, Rapid City took a 2-1 lead. As Aliardi skated along the right side, faked an old-school slap shot over in the right point, uh, and he skated towards the near circle just before he got to the circle, fired away onto Cranley. Cranley made the initial save as it bounced off his chest but left some loose change out in front. Bennett got the puck and fired it past Cranley on the rebound for his 29th of the year as Bennett leads all league rookies in goals this season. So that gave the rush a two to one lead after one period as Bennett scored 1958 into the frame. The only goal scored in the second period was Parker Bowman 601 and puck was in the high slot. It might've been Riley Janelle to, that took the shot. It bounced off the end boards right onto Bowman near goal line and Bowman got it. Cranley tried to slide towards his right to make a stop, but Bowman was able to get the puck before Cranley could and fired it past the goal line to make it a 3-1 game. And that's where we stand right now. Both teams had one power play in the second period. Zach Hoffman for Rapid City got an interference minor, 39 seconds in. And then Dylan Fitz got a cross-checking minor, 14-36 into the first period. Both teams row for one on the power play. For the Grizzlies, they had 15 shots in the first and 15 in the second. They have 30 shots through two periods. They're on pace for 45 on the night. Rapid City had 12 shots in the first and 14 in the second as they're on pace to exceed their average. Rapid City takes 32.9 shots per game. For the Grizzlies, who's been aggressive offensively? Well, it's been Alex Bocage, Utah's lone goal scorer. He leads the way with seven shots as he's averaging close to five shots per game this season. Brett Stapley has four shots. Mick Messner and Brandon Cutler each have three shots. Uh, Manning, Berg, Wesley, and Dennison each have two shots, and a handful of Grizzlies have one shot through two periods. For Rapid City, in their 26 shots, they are led by Alex Aliardi, who has seven shots on the evening. Zach Hoffman, Jake Stella, Brett Gravel, and Parker Bowman each have three shots. Blake Bennett has one goal on two shots. Uh, Coella also has two shots for the rush. You got to do a three stars of the game so far on the Rapid City side. You got to look at Blake Bennett, who has one goal and two assists. Alex Aliardi has one goal and one assist. And Matt Radomski's put together a star effort through two periods, saving 29 of 30. But we did talk about the glimmer of hope. After all, Utah has been a strong third period club, and Rapid City has really struggled for some reason in the third periods of this season. So for Utah, they're just going to have to stick with it and see if they can come away with two standings points. It's kind of odd to see the Grizzlies at just one goal here through two frames. Utah, over their last four games, has scored 19 goals. The Grizz offense has been on point. Uh, Rapid State has put together a pretty good defensive effort as they want to end the 11-game home losing streak. That's right. Rapid City has not won at home since January 13th, where they got a 9-5 to victory over the Fort Wayne Comets. Rapid City has gotten six road victories since then, uh, but they are 0-11 at home uh, since the nine-goal performance on January 13th against Fort Wayne. When we come back, we'll do some scoreboard watching. We'll give you an update on that Tulsa-Idaho game as well as Allen and Kansas City. Through two periods over at the Monument, Rapid City leads Utah 3-1. to one. This is the Grizzlies Hockey Network. At Black Bear Diner, you always get more. More choice. More amazing food, more value, from huge breakfasts to delicious lunches and hearty dinners. Black Bear Diner has more for you. So get more when you want it, the way you want it, and get it today. Good old-fashioned family food, Black Bear Diner. Black Bear Diner. <laughs> 
from commercial direct racial truck accessories, Mountain Land Truck Outfitters has got what you need. Flatbeds, spray and bed liners, lifts and leveling kits, wheels and tires. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters proudly uses a brand you know and trust. And with our experienced, knowledgeable, and friendly staff, your visit here will be informative and enjoyable. Stop into our convenient location in Provo at 265 South 100 West or call 801-225-4637 to get a quote for your fleet or individual truck. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters. Well, if you're a Grizzlies fan, I got some good news and some bad news. Well, the bad news, Utah trails 3-1 to one after two periods. The good news looks like the rest of the Mountain Division games are going Utah's way as well. Final score from Credit Union of Texas Event Center, Kansas City 3, Allen 1. As Kansas City's top guns were their top guns tonight, Patrick Curry, Jacob Hayhurst, and Cade Borcher each scored goals. James Hardy, the former Rapid City Rush forward, he scored Allen's lone tally. He has a goal in back-to-back games uh, for Allen after being traded from uh, Rapid City to Allen for, I believe, future considerations. So Hardy now has 13 goals this season, but it wasn't enough as Kansas City comes away with a 3-1 to victory on a Saturday night, and that certainly benefits the Grizzlies as Allen right now is in fifth place with 57 standings points, four, po- four points behind Utah for fourth place in the Mountain Division. The other game we're keeping an eye out for is Tulsa at Idaho. Tulsa's got three out of four standings points for the series. <coughs> but through two periods, Idaho leads 7-1. to one, As looks like the baby's in the refrigerator over at Idaho Central Arena. As looks like it's been a balanced attack for the Stillheads. A.J. White and Wade Murphy each have two goals and one assist. Ty pelton Bice, Willie Neerham, and Keaton Mastro-Donato have each found the back of the net. Patrick Kudla has three assists, and Idaho, having outshot Tulsa 31-22, still has gotten a good performance from Brian Thompson, who has saved 21 of 22. Tulsa's lone goal was scored by Alec Butcher, 15-51 15-51 into the second period. It's Idaho 7, Tulsa 1. Idaho's 2 for 2 on the power play and 1 for 1 on the penalty kill. So that does benefit the Grizzlies, regardless of what happens for Utah. Uh, assuming Idaho holds on to the six-goal lead, Grizzlies will be no more than two points behind Tulsa for third place in the Mountain Division as the Oilers have 63 standings points and the Grizzlies have 61 on the season. Other action in the league. Every other other game has gone final. There's only two games in progress right now. Grizzlies in the rush as well as Idaho uh, and Tulsa. Newfoundland defeats Maine 6-2. to two. Twan Riviera gets a 4-1 victory over South Carolina. It was also a 4-1 final as Jeff Carr's Norfolk Admirals got three goals and one assist um, from David Connick. Uh, Connick. Kanek had three goals and one assist. He contributed to all four of the Admirals' goals. Norfolk, four, Adirondack, one. Orlando defeats Atlanta, two to one. Savannah gets a 6-3 victory over Florida. Toledo defeats Indy, five to two. In a shootout, Jacksonville over Greenville, four to three. In overtime, Redding got a two to one win over Worcester. Iowa Got a 3-2 victory over Wichita. That was a regulation loss for the Thunder, and it feels like time is running out on the Thunder, who seem to be long shots to make the postseason as they need some help from other division opponents, and Wichita certainly needs a great ending to the regular season. Wheeling defeats Fort Wayne 3-1, and in overtime, Kalamazoo defeats Cincinnati 3-2. 28 teams in the league, and all 28 are in action this evening. The score over at the Monument is Rapid City 3 and Utah 1 as my screen once again is frozen. When we come back, we will go over some NHL scores and maybe some NCAA basketball scores as well. As after two periods, it's Rapid City 3, Utah 1. We're back in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. This isn't just copper. It's our job. It's food on our family's tables. Without it, we couldn't stay in touch. It's what keeps our homes warm and our lights on. It's the power behind the team and a greener, brighter future. 
This isn't just copper. It's a proud Utah and a strong America. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. We've got over 350 new Kias to choose from. Savings. Shop over 30 new Kia Seltos models and save up to 2000 off when you buy. Jerry Signer has been the area's most trusted automotive source for over 40 years. Little wonder then how we've made thousands of friends to last a lifetime. Jerry Signer Kia Salt Lake. Second intermission, Rapid City leads Utah 3-1. to one. Some NHL action. First intermission, Vancouver leads Calgary 1 to nothing. Calgary is the NHL affiliate of the Rapid City Rush. After regulation, Florida and the New York Rangers are tied at three as they are headed to overtime on national TV. Uh, six minutes in, first period, Tampa Bay and L.A. are, are scoreless. Also after six minutes, San Jose leads Chicago one to nothing. Seven minutes in, Columbus has a one nothing lead at Vegas. Games have gone final in the NHL. Islanders defeat the Winnipeg Jets six to three. Philadelphia over Boston three to two. In overtime, the Blues get a five four win over Minnesota. Nashville shuts out Detroit in a one nothing goaltenders duel. Ottawa gets a five two win over New Jersey and Toronto. In Hockey Night in Canada, defeats Edmonton 6-3. In the NCAA basketball tournament, looks like a lot of favorites are pulling ahead as looks like Illinois is defeating Duquesne 88-63 to as Illinois will go to the Sweet 16. Earlier today, over at Delta Center in downtown Salt Lake, Arizona defeats Dayton 78-68. And Gonzaga pulled away as they outscored Kansas by 22 in the second half. Gonzaga goes to the Sweet 16. They defeat Kansas 89-68. to North Carolina in the West region, they defeat Michigan State 85-69. to In the East region, second seed Iowa State defeats Washington State 67-56. Uh, in overtime, NC State defeats Oakland 79-73. I got to imagine that Grizzlies ticket staff personnel, Patrick McCarthy in, in particular, is pretty happy with NC State as he is a native of North Carolina, and he is very happy that NC State is going to the Sweet 16 as they defeat Oakland in overtime, 79-73. And second seed Tennessee in the Midwest West region, they defeat Texas 62-58. to So it's a day of favorites. The lone upset could potentially be the final game of the day at halftime. Third seed Creighton leads 11th seed Oregon 36 to 34. Well, it looks like it's a Barbie theme over in Rapid City. And for the Grizzlies, they need a third period comeback. But remember, the last two Saturdays produced miracle comebacks. Utah trailed four to two two weeks ago against Rapid City before Brandon Cutler scored two goals in the final 12 minutes of regulation. And Alex Bocage eventually got the game winner, which was his second goal of the night. And Utah won five to four. Last Saturday was the military night miracle with the Grizzlies overcoming a 4-1 deficit. Do the Grizzlies for the third straight Saturday have a comeback attempt in them? Well, we'll find out. We'll have third period action shortly as Rapid City leads Utah three to one. This has been the Rio Tinto Kennecott Intermission Report on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. Why is Jerry Signer the number one Kia store in the Salt Lake region? Selection. Shop over 50 new Kia Sorentos with savings up to $4,500 off at Jerry Signer Kia, South Jordan. Since 1939, America First has helped people start businesses, buy homes and cars, and achieve their financial goals. Today, our top priority is still the financial success of you and your family, which is why we're giving new members $100 when they sign up for a basic savings and checking account and another $100 when they upgrade to premium checking and enroll in and use direct deposit. So head to AmericaFirst.com today and join the credit union that always puts its members first. It's Rapid City 3, Utah 1. We'll see if the Grizzlies have a third straight Saturday miracle finish. 
as once again, we've lost internet. Hopefully we'll get it back as unfortunately from time to time, the hard wire here in the Grizz Cave has let us down as looks like we're about set for third period action. Brett Stapley is left off the stat sheet, which is a bit unusual. He's got a point in four straight games. Brandon Cutler's also got a point in four straight. And we'll see if the Grizzlies, and really it just takes getting that first goal. And if the Grizzlies can do that, then obviously they can put together a comeback bid as a draw one by Rapid City. As they skate from left to right in the third period, Grizzlies skate from right to left. As the rush, getting five on five. As Tyson Helgeson gets a new try down the middle, he slices to his left. Crosses center ice and dumps it in. Mayhew chasing after it. Near side, as he gets pushed by Aliardi, he's already got uh, one goal and one assist tonight. It's a puck towards the near side. And once again, my screen is frozen. As action in slow motion. Grizzlies on the near side. As we're 30 seconds into the third period. Cutler in the area. As... We continue to have, I guess they call the term technical difficulties. That's what we're having here as the internet has gone south on us here. As we're early on in the third period, the Grizzlies for the third straight Saturday are looking for a miracle. As now we're 35 seconds into the third period, draw is going to be along the near circle. As Brett Davis will take the draw against Brandon Cutler. Dylan Fitz out there. He's paired up with Cutler as the draw won by Rapid City. They clear it out. It looks like while my screen was frozen that Rapid City had picked up a penalty, it looks like the Grizzlies might be on a power play. As Mayhew gets the new tries, he crosses the center, and it is a power play for the Grizzlies. Cutler over to the right side for Bocage. He'll drop it off as the puck goes deep into the Rapid City zone behind their net. Grizzlies on the power play. The screen was frozen when uh, the penalty occurred. I couldn't tell what happened. Mayhew over to Stapley, right wing, over to the far goal line as it bounced off a rush stick. Hoffman avoids a check of Cutler as the rush get it, and they clear it out. As Rapid City leads 3-1, to one, Mayhew gets it near his side. He skates around Cranley's net as Mayhew's got 15 power play assists this season, which ranks third among league rookies. He crosses center ice. Pivots and drops it off as Bokosh crosses center ice right wing. He steps over the blue line, drops it off. Stapley over to Fitz down the middle. Righty shot is blocked away by Radomski. As Stapley over to Bokosh, he feeds it up top. Mayhew dances to his left and shuffles to his right. Stapley, toe drag towards the middle. Shot saved by Radomski. Rapid City gets it and they'll drag it out. Two on one, they cross center ice. Fitz on the back check. Now it's two on two. Rush step over the line. Skate towards the far side. As Rush, left side, lefty shot. Say Bennett looking for the rebound. Manning cuts in front of him to take the puck away. Great defensive effort by Luke Manning. Two minutes into the third period, Rush lead three to one. As Grizzlies switch up skaters. As Utah, Josh Wesley, who's got seven power play goals, gets the new try. So he'll back it out. As Burke moves to his right, Grizzlies step over the line. As Berg trying to center it, pass goes wide off the near boards. Manning chips it up top to Burke. Who directs it to the right side. Gallant over to Wesley. Back towards Burke. Who gets it back to Wesley. High slot. Righty shot is blocked away. It's a puck. Hippity ops on to Burke. Five seconds left in the power play. Over to Manning. Who swings and didn't get much on it. As coming out of the penalty box right now is Aliardi. As he broke a hockey roll two minutes ago. Grizzly centering pass to Burke. Shot saved by Radomski. Puck still alive. Grizzly's trying to fling it out in front. It bounced off a rush skater towards the near corner. Burke dances around. He gets up top to Wesley. Left side. He shuffles and skates towards the near circle. Wesley pivots. Skates back towards the point. Feeds it up top to Burke. One-timer is blocked away. He's got a piece of penner. Rush clear it back to center. At the Utah line, Grizzlies get it back as they'll move it to Wesley, who outlets it ahead. Left wing. As it bounces off the penner, it goes back to new tries. Garrett Klotz lumbers into the zone right side. As he'll stop centering pass out in front goes wide. As Klotz was looking for Bowman cutting towards the net. Puck to the near side, right point. Taylor rolls it behind as Klotz over in the near corner. He's a big guy at 6'6 and 250 pounds. Trying to get it up top. It's taken away by Berg, who feeds it back deeper in the Grizzlies zone to Wickers, who stops behind Cranley's net. Wickers faked it towards the near side and lost the puck. As Rapid City danced around in the near corner, they get to the circle. Rapid City back towards the near corner. They feed it up top. Taylor 
fires towards the net. It ricochets off the end boards as Klotz chases after it in the near side as Bowman fed it over there. Klotz delivers a big shot as Wickers gets pushed along the near glass. It looks like icing is going to be on Utah with 16.06 left in the third. It's the rush three and the Grizzlies one. Utah is now 0 for 2 on the power play. As we had mentioned before, Rapid City has struggled in third periods this season for the Grizzlies. And really, it seemed like the entire season um, kind of turned around at, at about Christmas time. And Utah has played great hockey since then. Draws going to be over in the far circle. Penner will take it, but it's won by Brett Davis in Rapid City. Left side. Rush, feed it to the far circle. Aliardi skates towards his right, righty shot goes wide. Aliardi's got a point in 12 straight games. And now Aliardi, high slot, righty shot, saved by Cranley. Rebound goes to Stucker, who gets it towards Berg as Berg gets around a rush skater and Aliardi as new tries. Davis loses his bounce. Grizzlies get it. Fitz skates down the middle. And now he veers off to the left backhand shot, saved by Radomski. And the puck bounces off the end boards as Fitz has some words with a rush skater. As Fitz had a pretty good look skating down the middle, just veered off to the left, fired a backhand shot, and Radomski, who's looked strong tonight, made the save as the Rapid City goaltender has now saved 32 of 33. Draws going to be in the near side. Nugget, the Rapid City mascot, entertaining the crowd, wearing a cowboy hat, a blonde wig, and a pink dress. So I think Nugget thinks it's Halloween. He's, he's dressed up as Barbie. Stapley will take the draw against Jake Stella. Stella, native of Sweden, off the draw. Cutler's shot goes wide on a one-timer as Cutler flexes a stick to make sure it didn't break. As far side, Grizzlies get pushed along the boards. Utah right wing shot, save. Cutler looking for a shot. He gets boxed out. Cutler feeds it up top to Dennison. Back to Cutler. He's in the left point. He has a glance off his stick back to new tries. Cutler fires it back in. As the rush gather it, both teams spread the ice about five minutes into the third. Ahead, the puck bounced off of Fitz. Fitz keeps it in, and he'll throw it in deep as the puck along the near side. Fitz gathers it. He's got 11 goals in his last 13 games. Up top for Mayhew, who skates towards the near corner. Now he stops and skates back towards the blue line. He gets it to Cutler. Cutler left side will roll it back to Stapley. Stapley skates towards his right. Now chip it up top. Cutler skates down Broadway. Lefty shot goes wide. as. Looked like St. Ange might have gotten a piece of it. Now Cutler far circle, lefty shot, and that's blocked away before it got to Radomski. Rapid City gets it as Rush battling with Stapley. Stapley keeps it in as he cuts off Stella. Now the puck goes back to Rapid City as they feed it to the nearest circle. Muzika gets it across. It's Rapid City will drag it to new tries. Blue line to blue line pass. Uh, tapped off a rush stick, and it goes deep into the Grizzly zone. As Wesley chases after, he'll drop it for Mayhew. Stations himself behind Cranley's net. Grizzlies cut around Mayhew as we're about six minutes into the third period. Rush lead three to one. Mayhew ahead to bounce off a stick onto Bocage left wing. Tries to enter the zone. Gallant got there before the puck delayed offside. As now Burke battles. Burke gets pushed towards neutral ice. As Bocage skates back in, he'll skate towards his right. Bocage fakes a shot as he gets double teamed, trying to get it up top of loss the puck. Rapid City left wing pass goes wide as he rush chase after it. Stucker delivers a shot in the far corner. Bowman over there gets pushed by Wickers. Left point, lefty shot is blocked away as rolls towards the backboards. Taken into Utah. Good job by Robbie Stucker boxing out the rush skater behind Utah's net. Burke, left wing, moves it across. Grizzlies get to new tries. They cross the center red line, right wing, as they'll wrap it around the boards. As Bocage, left point, gets pushed along the boards by Coelho along the near side as Burke battles along the wall. It's taken by Rapid City. They tried to skate out of the zone as Wickers cuts off Koala as Rapid City lofts it into the Grizzlies area. Utah gets over to Wickers, trying to get to Manny who couldn't reach it as Rapid City will lift it high into the air. It bounces off a rush stick. Cutler has the puck because he's at the Utah line. Right wing pass, trying to connect to Manning as he'll dump it in and chase after it with good speed. Messner over there as well. Puck trickles back up top as Rapid City gets a new tries. Right wing pass will glance off the skate of number 15, Will Rydell. He's got good speed, and he's also probably got pretty good size, 6'2", 198 pounds. And now the Grizzlies out at new try skating from right to left as Messner over to his right. Grizzlies chip it across to Corbett. Left side, lefty shot saved by Radomski 
Now Messner near side shot. Blocker saved by Radomski. Messner feeds it out in front. It goes between the legs of a Rapid City skater off the near boards. Dennis left point shot is sticked away by Radomski. Far side, Grizzlies get it up top to Cutler, who winds and fires. Lefty shot is kicked away by Radomski. Rebound goes towards the right point. Grizzlies squeak towards their left. Messner shot saved by Radomski. Penner hacking away as he gets pushed by Will Rydell as the Rapid City goaltender holds on with 12.08 left in the third period. Nobody scored here so far in the final regulation frame as, Rag- as Rapid City leads Utah 3 to 1. We're back in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Smith's always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Smith's fresh for everyone. Remember, the Grizzlies will be at Maverick Center for six straight games, beginning with a three-game series against the Idaho Stillheads. Next home game for the Grizzlies will be on Wednesday night. It will be a Smith's family night with four tickets for $40 and then $10 for each additional ticket after that. The second of the three games set is going to be next Friday, six days from now, March 29th. It's going to be an AFSU Friday where tickets start just $10 when you pay using your AFSU debit or credit card at the Maverick Center box office. Don't forget next Saturday, the Grizzlies will host the Idaho Stillheads to complete the three-game set. 12.08s left in the third period. Rapid City leads 3-1. to one. As Rush win the draws, Garrett Klotz will nudge it ahead. Janelle chases after it. Wesley cuts in front of him to get the puck. Wesley, the son of Glenn Wesley, stops in the near corner as he's being chased by Klotz. Now Wesley will reverse his field back towards the near corner. He'll drop it from A. Hughes. Stops behind Cranley's net as Penner skates towards his right. Mayhew with a left wing pass to Berg, who steps over the line. Berg skates towards the near circle, stops, and pivots back towards the point. He gets up top to Mayhew. Lefty shot goes wide as Penner is over looking to re- try to redirect it. Muzika delivers a hit in the far corner. That's where the puck is deep in the rush zone. Grizzlies, Adam Berg delivers a shot as now far circle. Aragon over skates it. Now Berg, lefty shot, is blocked away as he didn't get much on it. Rapid City gets it out to center ice. Big Garrett Klotz, right side, steps over the line and loses the puck as he was skating towards his left. Grizzlies ahead to Aragon, left side, he'll backhand it in as puck glides towards the far corner. Tyson Helgeson chips it towards Hoffman, who gets a good shoulder check from Aragon. Grizzlies get it up top, Wickers, left point in the attack zone. He gets held up along the wall, Rapid City takes the puck, good defensive play by Breck Ravel, the third-year pro. Up ahead, looking for St. Ange, pass goes incomplete, Grizzlies will sell it back to center. As Utah near their bench area, skating from right to left about halfway through the third period. Get it to Quinn Wickers in the near side. Wickers, a third-year pro, played the last two years with Rapid City. Utah steps over the line, left side. Fitz fakes a shot, skates towards the corner. He gets a good shoulder check from Rapid City. Wickers over to Stucker, right side. Righty shot, saved by Radomski, and he holds on with 10.32 left in the third. Actually, the <laughs> Radomski didn't have it. There was a lot of traffic. It must have deflected out of play. And that's why the whistle blew. You almost need that Fox glowing puck sometimes with these remote broadcasts, especially in Rapid City, where it looks like the picture is having a tough time staying um, in anything other than black and white. Brandon Cutler will take the draw as linesman Riley Hickey gets some TV time. Stucker will take the draw against, um, let's see, as... The guy taking the face off is having a conversation with... Uh, Matt Radomski was saved 38 of 39. Brett Davis will take the draw for Rapid City. As he crouches down low, Stapley wins the draw. Cutler right side, lefty shot, saved by Radomski, and he dives. Grizzlies tried to hack it in, but Radomski is able to cover up. 10-27 left in the third. Oi, Fitz was out there in front of the net as well as Stapley as the shot was taken from the right side, I believe, by Cutler, and Radomski gloved it and held on. As draws going to be in the near circle. So Utah's getting the looks they want. They're up to 41 shots according to the score bug. Um, they had 15 shots in the first and another 15 in the second. They already have 11 shots in the third. But Matt Radomski for Rapid City has really held strong. Stapley will take the draw against Brett Davis. 
Utes on the white jerseys with black numbers, professional green trim. Over to the right side, lefty shot saved by Radomski as well. Brandon Cutler had a good look once again, but Radomski robs him as he has now stopped 41 of 42. So Grizzlies up to 12 shots here in the third period. There's still 10-23 left in regulation. Faceoff's going to be in the far circle. It's a good crowd over at the Monument, having a good time on what we, we believe is Barbie night over in Rapid City. Stapley will take the drive. He's got Fitz to his left and Cutler to his right. Three of the hottest forwards for Utah over the last month. Utah wins the draw. Fitz tries to throw it out in front. It bounced off of Aliardi's left leg. Uh, Stapley behind the net gets pushed. Puck glides towards the near corner for Cutler. Feeds it out in front. It bounced off for Adomski as Aliardi will carry it out to neutral. As he crosses center, he'll pitch it to his left as Rapid City skates towards the far goal line. They center it out in front. Grizzlies one-handed away. Far circle shot is blocked away. Aliardi, left side, he's wearing the captain's C. Feeds it up top. Puck exited the zone. As the whistle blows, Rapid City is offside with 9.55 left in the third. It's the rush three and the Grizzlies one. Nobody has scored here so far in the third period. We're back in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Schwab tires. I'm a constant backseat driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. Well, the draws can be at new tries. Grizzlies territory as Rapid City leads Utah 3 to 1 with 9.55 left in the third period. Gallant will take the draw, the Western Michigan product, first full season as a pro. As Parker Bowman takes for Rapid City and he wins it. Right side, Rapid City steps over the line. Helgeson dumps in deep. That's Kenton Helgeson. His brother Tyson Helgeson, another defenseman for Rapid City, is Cody Corbett. Throws it behind his net for Liam Dennison, who skates towards the far side. Dennison will chip it ahead. Puck stays in the Grizzlies zone. Now Utah carries it out to new tries. They cross center right wing. They move it to their left as Bocage trying to get towards Corbett near side. He couldn't reach it. Gallant gets double teamed and sandwiched towards the near boards. As Utah gets pushed in the back, Bocage strong with it. Gets it up top. Corbett dances towards his right. High slot. Lefty shot. Saved by Radomski. And he holds on. As it's really been the Matt Radomski show. Rapid City pushing Gallant and Burke after the whistle as Grizzlies are just looking for those rebounds. Radomski's bobbled a few, uh, but has held strong. And really, it's been the Radomski, Al Alex Aliardi, and Blake Bennett show. Bennett has one goal and two assists. Aliardi has one goal and one assist. And Radomski's up to 42 saves. Well, if you're looking at scoreboard watching with 10 games left in the regular season, nine after tonight for the Grizzlies. Kansas City defeated Allen 3-1, to one, which certainly helps the Grizzlies' cause. And Idaho, early in the third period, leads Tulsa 8-1. to one. That game of 14 minutes left in the third. As the drop goes towards the near boards, Manning gets held up. Messner held up along the wall as well. Utah is trying to hack away as Rush cleared out to center. It's taken back by Wesley at the center red line. Over to Mayhew, back to Wesley, who's at the Utah line. Now he skates down the middle. Wesley skates from blue line to blue line with ease. He'll skate towards the near corner. Manning get, got knocked down. Now he gets the puck back. Manning chips it out in front. Pass goes wide of the mark. Stapley over to Mayhew. Kept the line. Mayhew left side, lefty shot. And that one goes wide. Glove side on Radomski. Now Wesley, high slot shot. is saved by Radomski. Grizzlies hacking away. Near side. They chip it up top for Wesley, but it goes past him and out of the zone. Uh, the Grizzlies got away with an offside as the puck looked like it exited the zone, but they are able to get a couple good chances, though. Wesley deep in his own zone, far circle. He fakes a long-range pass. Now he angles it to the left for Mayhew at center ice. Mayhew ahead to Aragon, who gets it, dumps it to the near corner. Berg gets pushed in the side, taking the puck as Rapid City as Aragon delivered a hit, but got more glass than Zach Taylor. Rush step over the line left side, skating towards the far goal line. Gravel stops. Drops it off, left side, shot and a score, and it's now 4-1. to one. 
as Gravel dropped it off and Will Rydell gets his third of the year. Rydell spent some time in the AHL with the Calgary Wranglers as he goes and high fives everybody on his team's bench as the Rush have taken a 4-1 lead with 8.05 left in the third. And you're wondering if tonight could be a game of couldas, wouldas, and shouldas for the Grizzlies. As Gravel stopped in the far corner, just laid it for Rydell. Rydell's one-timer with fired past Cranley. And with that, the Rush now have four goals on the night. So Rapid City looking to end a 11-game home losing streak. It's been two and a half months since the Rapid City fans have seen their team score in person. As looks like two of the officials are talking with Ryan Kanaswich. As a draw looks like it's going to be at center ice. There's no doubt the puck crossed the goal line. As Brett Stapley will take the draw for Utah. Grizzlies are talking things over. As it must have been something. It looks like uh, there was some ice that they're working on over in the net that Rapid City's defending in the third period. But Grizzlies have had their chances. They've had 43 shots. They've had a lot of really good looks. Uh, just have that one goal, though, as Alex Bokosh scored 10-40 into the first period, and Rapid City has responded with four unanswered. We did mention that both Tulsa and Allen have lost. I mean, Tulsa's down by seven goals in the third period, and Allen lost earlier tonight. Remember, last night, all three of those teams won, Allen, Tolson, and Utah. So it appears that, um, you know, if, if all else fails and the Grizzlies don't have a miracle comeback in them like they have each of the last two Saturdays, um, it looks like the Grizzlies will stay two points behind Tulsa for third place and four points in front of Allen in fourth as they're working on some ice in front of the Rapid City bench. And that's why play is stopped with 8.05 left in the third as that's just one of those things. I mean, Grizzlies have had their chances, but Radomski has stood on his head for Rapid City, and the rush, their top forward lines are really produced. Brett Gravel is going to get an assist, which will be his 22nd of the season. And Will Rydell has really been an impressive defenseman. Uh, he did not play two weeks ago when the rush were at Maverick Center as he was up in the AHL with the Calgary Wranglers. Uh, Rydell, a native of Greensboro, North Carolina, played his college hockey at Lake Superior State. Last season, spent 32 games with the San Jose Barracuda, as well as 15 games in this league with the Savannah Ghost Pirates. He was a graduate transfer at Ohio State University two years ago and was their captain. Off the draw, Rapid City wins the faceoff, and they ice it all the way down towards Cranley. As there's now 7.58 left in the third, draw is going to come back towards Matt Radomski. Well, 4-1 to one isn't insurmountable, as we saw last Saturday with the Military Night Miracle with the Grizzlies scoring three goals in a 68-second stretch. Really, with as aggressive as the Grizzlies have been offensively, they just need to find a way to get that first one in. And you know with Ryan Kanas, which is crew, there's a never-say-die attitude, and they know that the game is not over until triple zeros are on the clock. As a draw won by Utah, they get up top to Wesley, who feeds it out in front. Shot goes wide as Wesley found Mayhew out in front. Utah gets it to Cutler, who slices across to Wesley. Right side, righty shot is blocked. Wesley gets it back, far circle, shot and a score! And it's now a 4-2 game. Grizzlies took the initial shot. I think it was Wesley. It got blocked. Wesley got it back in the far circle and fired it past Radomski. It's now a 4-2 game. And remember that never-say-die attitude for the Grizzlies as Utah is getting their second goal of the night. They finally show a replay of a visiting goal, but nope, it's not a visiting goal. It's a Rapid City hit. As Josh Wesley, we believe it was Wesley, scoring a 17th of the year from the right side as it's 4-2 rush with 740 left in the third. As Rapid City gets it, instead of showing a highlight of Utah's goal, they show Rapid City delivering a few hits along the walls. We're back to live action. Aliardi dumps it in, a bounced off a Mayhew stick. As the Grizzlies skating from right to left are looking for a comeback attempt. As Utah gets the new try, so dropping off. As Mayhew crosses center ice, left wing. He'll veer into the zone, getting around Stapley. He'll drop it off for Stapley in the left point. He'll feed it around the boards. Tyson Helgeson cuts it off behind his net. He'll throw it to the far side. Grizzlies dance around. Mayhew, far circle, gets it across. Fitz couldn't handle it, but he gets it off the boards. He gets it up top to Wesley. Over to Fitz, left side. He feeds it towards the middle. Mayhew with a shot. He scores! And it's now a 4-3 game! As Kyle Mayhew got it down the middle and fired it past Radomski. 
Oh, and check this Grizzlies magic directly in my veins. I don't know what it is about the third period magic on Saturdays, but this one's not over yet as there's 703 left in the third. And just like that, the Grizzlies have scored two goals in the last 30 seconds. As Wesley scored 12-16 into the third period, and Kyle Mayhew cuts into the lead some more as he gets his 13th of the year. And it's a multiple-point game for Mayhew as the draw is going to be at center ice, and it's that never-say-die attitude for the Grizzlies. Rapid City wins the draw as Grizzlies, and I imagine they're having some memories of the last two Saturdays. Utah gets the new trice as Rapid City trying to throw it back in. It goes towards Stucker. He'll slide it across to Wickers. Back to Stucker. He's in the far circle. Stucker gets out to Neutrice. He'll chip it over to Burke. Burke steps over the line. He'll dump it off the near wall as he chases after it and gets it in the near corner. Puck glides back to the right point. Stucker fumbles it but keeps it in. He'll roll it back to the near side. Gallant chasing after it. Wicker's in the area. He'll chip it to the near corner. Grizzlies get pushed along the end boards as Utah gets it. Grizz feed it to the right side. Stucker fires towards net. Safe rebound shot. Oh, goes just wide. Utah couldn't get a shot off. As Rapid City had boxed out Bokaj. Wicker's staring pass. Shot. See by Radomski. And he holds on with 613 left in the third. As Utah got a centering pass out to Burke, who fired a one timer, but Radomski made the save. Radomski with a swig of water as he takes a couple deep breaths as the Grizzlies are buzzing here in the third period. It was a 4 1 rush lead. And just like that, two goals in less than a minute, making it 4 3. And the Grizzlies. Have had some good chances to tie it up, including that Nathan Burke one-timer about 15 feet in front of Radomski. Josh Wesley and Kyle Mayhew with third-period goals. Mayhew scored 12.57 in, which was about 45 seconds after Wesley. Draws in the near circle. It's one by Rapid City. It's a rush four, and the Grizzlies three with about six minutes left. Puck goes out to neutralize. Grizzlies near side. Get it? And they chip it ahead. As Cutler over skates it, Stapley one hands it, but it goes towards the Utah line. Gravel dumps it in. Cranley behind his net will shuffle it towards the far side. Giz Grizzlies get it to Stapley. Left wing pass to center ice for Cutler. Cutler over the line. He gets hit with a high stick by Kenton Helgeson. Was it called? We're not sure. Helgeson gets the puck as there was no penalty on the play. Helgeson ahead as rush cross center, two on three. They'll move it across. The bounce off of Mayhew. It goes deep into the Grizzly zone towards the far corner. Utah chasing after it. Stapley in the area. Mayhew tries to hack it away. Stake, Stapley comes out with a puck. And so lofted out to center ice. Puck Kippity opts out towards the right wing. Grizzlies cross center. Bokaj fires it on to Radomski, who saves it and keeps play alive by getting it to Hoffman. Hoffman around the net as Rapid City outlets it three quarters of the length of the ice. As Stucker holds his ground at the Utah line. Grizzlies back in the far corner, spread the ice. As Utah gets it across to Wickers, near side. He'll push it ahead. Left wing, Manning dumps it in, chasing after its Bokaj. He delivers a side check on Helgeson. Helgeson gets on two knees. Grizzlies with the puck. 4.52 and counting left in the third. It's 4-3 rush. Right side, Stucker shot. Saved by Radomski. Grizzlies hacking away. Bokaj looking for it, but Radomski holds on. As Radomski bobbled it for a second, but was able to hold on. Grizzlies are up to 51 shots, including 21 here in the third period. Final timeout in the, on the ice. We'll take one as well. Grizzlies looking for that third period comeback as Wesley and Mayhew scored about 45 seconds apart. It's a rush four and the Grizzlies three. This is the Grizzlies Hockey Network. <laughs> Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a constant backseat driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. Over the last two Saturdays, the Grizzlies have put together a miraculous comeback, so they have another one in them. 4.47 left in the third. Josh Wesley a cut into the Rapid City lead. It was a 4-1 rush lead, and then Wesley scored 12.16 in. And 41 seconds later, it was Kyle Mayhew scoring 12.57 in. Uh, Mayhew has a point in each of Utah's third-period goals. He had an assist in the Wesley goal, and obviously Mayhew scoring his 13th of the year as he now has one goal and two assists on the night. Utah is up to 52 shots, 22 of them in the third period. Rapid City has taken three shots in the third period. Brett Stapley will take the dry, wins it in the far side. Cutler fires towards the net. It goes wide as Utah chasing after it is Fitz. 
And the puck deep in the rush zone. Cameraman can't, can't find it. Mayhew over to Stapley. He rolls it to Cutler on the near side. Cutler gets it up top. Wesley back to Cutler. Cutler feeds it over to Fitz. Over to Wesley. Back to Cutler. As Grizzlies work the puck around quickly. Cutler left side. Rolls along the boards to Fitz. Back towards Cutler. He lets it go to the point for Wesley near side. Back towards Cutler, who's got 31 goals this season. Over to Stapley. He tried to feather it out in front. It bounced off the side of the net. Fitz gets it to the right side. Utah over to Wesley. One-timer, and it's blocked away by Aliardi. Puck in the near corner. Stapley gets it back up top to Wesley, who skates towards his right. Stapley over to Cutler. One-timer, and that goes wide as the puck stays in play, and it goes out to center ice. Grizzlies get it. Wesley gets it ahead as the rush make a line change. Cutler left point. Gets over to Fitz, who backhands it around Rapid City's net. Bowman, far side, will push it ahead as the rush will skip it into Grizzlies territory. Cutler chasing after it after a long shift as he pushes the rush into the far corner of the Grizzlies zone. Bowman gets it up top, but it's taken by Bocage. The Grizzlies switch up skaters. Three and a half minutes left in the third. It's Rapid City four, Utah three. Bocage right wing skates over the line and dumps it in. Gallant chasing after. He tried to shovel it towards the far the near corner. Wickers gets hit. He tried to get to Gallant. Rapid City lifts it high into the air. The long distance flight goes into the Grizzlies zone, and it's going to be icing on the rush with three minutes and 15 seconds left in the third. So the Grizzlies are buzzing here in the third. We talked about it going in. Rapid City has really struggled in third periods, and the Grizzlies really since Christmas have been a strong third-period club. Draws going to be in the Rapid City zone as Cole Glantz out there with Bocage will take the face off and can't tell the other four it is. Might be, um, uh, might be Burke as he's over in the right wing off the screen. As Wickers out there on the ice, puck won by Utah. Wickers left side will skate over as Utah got hit. Is uh, Bocage as he's laying in the slot, he's back to his feet, and it is Burke on the ice. Rapid City slices it towards their right as ricochets off the near boards. Cranley plays it near goal line. He'll throw it around his net. Stucker back to the far side as the Grizzlies. Less than three minutes left in regulation. Burke crosses the center ice, left wing pass connects to Wickers. He steps over the line and he'll flub it over to the right corner as the puck skips on the ice. And ricochets off the boards. Taylor flips it high into the air. Stucker, right side over to Burke. Burke gets it to Gallant, who feeds it back to the high slot. Wickers fakes a shot, moves to his right. Stucker, dance around, far side, righty shot. Oh, and it trickles past Radomski, but over towards the near goal line as Rush will bank it off the near glass. Rush cross center ice near side. They'll back it in as Cranley's still in net. 223 and counting left in the third. Grizzly stop in the far corner is for the third straight Saturday. The Grizz are looking for a miracle comeback. Utah spreads the ice skating from right to left as we see it on YouTube. Utah flings to the near side over to Cutler, who gets the new tries with ease. He'll push it ahead to Fitz, who has a glance off his stick. Rapid City gets it back to Grizzlies territory. As the rush enter the zone, they chase after it in the far corner. As the puck goes around Cranley's net towards the near side as Cutler gets it near side. He hasn't scored a point yet tonight. He has a glance off his stick. Gravel, left side, lefty shot is blocked as it goes out of play. Good defensive work by Robbie Stucker, who's been outstanding over the last month. So draw is going to be in the Grizzlies zone as there's 151 left in the third. It was a 4-1 Rapid City lead before the Grizzlies scored two goals in the stretch of, I believe, 42 seconds. Let's see, uh, Wesley scored 12-16 in, and then uh, 41 seconds later, it was Mayhew scoring 12-57 in. As Mayhew has contributed to all three of Utah's goals tonight, he has one goal and two assists. Stapley will take the drop. It's not going to be a big point night for him. In fact, he doesn't have a point yet. 21 points in his last 10 games coming in. As a draw one by Utah, they're deep in their own zone. As Cutler swings it to the near side, as Utah throws it between their legs, and the rush get it. Aliardi down the middle, righty shot that goes wide. Glove side on Cranley as the puck ricochets off the end boards. Bennett over in the corner, hacking away. Cranley's still in there. Stapley comes out with it. Uh, so carry it out to new tries. He crosses center. He'll chip it to his right. Grizzly step over the line as Wesley gets hit along the far boards by Helgeson. Puck in the near corner. Stapley bounced it to the high slot. Cutler with a shot. It's blocked by Davis. Cutler gets it back left side. He'll move it to his right. Off the boards, Bocage gets it at the point. Up top to Wesley. One-timer. That goes wide. As Cutler over to the near side. 108 left in the third. Over to Wesley. Smoke him if he got him. Right side, Grizzlies get it. Now move it across to Mayhew. Left side gets a shoulder fake and gets it to Cutler. Near circle. Cutler dance around. He gets up top. It's picked off by Rapid City. They fire towards the empty net. 
And can't tell if he scored or not. No, icing is on the play as Rapid City missed the net. But icing on the rush with 53 seconds left in the third. Rapid City clinging to a 4-3 to three lead. Everybody's blood pressure has to be rising over the monument. As Grizzlies will have an offensive zone draw. I wonder if Ryan can ask which is going to use his one timeout. And that would be to keep that unit out there with Cutler, Wesley, and, and company. Uh, Utah's top weapons is Grizz have a handful of game-changing type of players. As looks like we're just going to look at the stands for a while. I imagine Ryan Kanasiewicz is going to use this timeout to keep that unit on the ice, give them a little bit of rest, uh, knowing that that's been Utah's top line, and those have been the guys that really have been key uh, for the Grizzlies in their comeback attempts over the last couple Saturdays. Uh, as we do see kind of an extended stoppage of play, so our guess is that Utah has used their one timeout. One of those key details in our remote broadcast, unfortunately, has gone missing. As Grizzlies, we believe, will keep Mayhew and Wesley on the ice. That's been one of the best offensive pairings in the league in terms of a defensive pair. And watch out for Brandon Cutler. He scored some big goals for the Grizzlies in the third period. Uh, Brett Stapley obviously can be a key contributor both as a, a passer and a shooter. Uh, I imagine Bo Kaj and Fitz might be the other two on the ice. You know, Fitz has been hot offensively recently, and, and Bo Kaj has that lethal shot, which might be the best on the club. Brett Davis will take the draw for Rapid City. You usually know uh, who the coaches trust the most. Those are the guys on the ice. Cutler will take the draw. He's out there with Stapley, Fitz, and Bocage. We believe Mayhew and Wesley are on the ice as well. 53 seconds left. Draws going to be in the near circle. Rapid City, four. Utah, three. The Grizz have taken 27 shots here in the third period. Cutler, 31 goals this season. We'll back out as the Grizzlies will talk things over. Biggest face-off of the game. As Davis moves his right leg, draw one by the Grizz. Up top, Mayhew gets it across to Wesley. Back to Mayhew in the high slot. Over to Bocage. One timer is blocked by Tyson Helgus. The puck goes to the near corner. Rapsy trying to clear it out. Mayhew cuts it off. Bocage gets hit in the high slot. As Cutler danced around, Rapid City will one-hand it out to the neutral ice. It goes to the Utah zone. As Wesley, 32 seconds left, crosses the center ice right wing. Grizzlies enter. As the puck goes to the far corner, Wesley chasing after it. He goes flying. Rapid City rolls along the near boards. The puck exits the zone. Mayhew chasing after it with Aliardi. Mayhew gets dragged down by Aliardi. 18 seconds left. As Grizzlies get it, they'll push it ahead. Fitz will drop it to his right. Grizzlies cross center. 10 seconds left. Utah steps over the line. They're trying to get it down the middle. It's picked off by Rapid City. They play it with a high stick. Cutler down the middle. Davis in the area. Bocage ch chipping away. Two seconds left. Grizzlies can't get a shot off, and that will do it. Rapid City wins 4-3 to three as Grizzlies just couldn't get that one look that they were looking for tie to tie the game. Utah had 28 shots in the third period. They scored two goals in a 41-second stretch. You were thinking for the third straight Saturday, the Grizzlies would have some magic in them. But Rapid City holds on for a 4-3 to three victory as their 11-game home losing streak comes to an end. And for the Grizzlies, they fall to two games below the 500 mark. The only saving grace for the Grizzlies tonight is Tulsa is losing 10-1 to to Idaho halfway through the third period. And Allen lost to Kansas City earlier today. Tomorrow's going to be the rubber match. Utah got a 5-3 to three victory on Friday night. This evening, it's Rapid City returning the favor. They get a 4-3 to three win. Grizzlies had an unbelievable shot advantage in the third period. They scored two goals. We just couldn't find a way to get that tying goal. As Rapid City comes away with the two standings points, the rush record goes to 24-35-3 on the season. They are now 9-19-1 at home this year. Grizzlies on the record on the road fall to 10, 11, and 1 over their last 22 games away from Maverick Center. Post-game shows coming up next. Once again, the final score from the Monument, Rapid City 4 and Utah 3. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a constant backseat driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. 
Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. Well, based on what you saw the two previous Saturdays at Mavericks Center, you thought maybe the Grizzlies have another miracle comeback in them. They trailed 4-1 to one halfway through the third period. In fact, Will Rydell made it 4-1, to 11-55 into the third period. The Grizzlies ended up scoring 21 seconds later with Josh Wesley to make it 4-2. Uh, to two. And then 41 seconds after that, Kyle Mayhew uh, scored as he got a nice pass out in front from Dylan Fitz. Mayhew got his 13th of the year, and just like that, it was a one-goal game. The Rapid City held Utah off the score sheet over the last seven minutes and three seconds of regulation. It just kind of felt like the Grizzlies ran out of time. Rapid City put together a good defensive effort there in the final minute. Uh, they were able to clear the puck once or twice, and Utah just couldn't get that good look to tie it up at the end of regulation. Utah had a 28-4 to shot advantage in the third period. The Grizzlies ended up with 58 shots, which is a season high for them this season. Rapid City had 30. Uh, neither team scored a power play goal. Utah was 0 for 2 on the man advantage. Rapid City was 0 for 1. Uh, Utah picks up their fourth regulation loss when scoring first. They are now 21, 4, and 2 when scoring first this season. Alex Bokaj was the optimum first goal of the game score as he scored from the right wing 10 40 in. Mayhew and Liam Dennison with the assist. And that's of note as Dennison picked up his first professional point. Dennison had two shots for the Grizzlies, and Utah had a 1-0 lead when Bokaj scored 10-40 in. Bokaj led all Grizzly skaters with nine shots on goal. Rapid City captain Alex Aliardi tied it up 15-22 in as he redirected a Blake Bennett shot. Bennett fired away from near the far wing boards, and Aliardi, with good hands, was able to get a piece of it as he gets his 25th of the year. Bennett and Brett Davis got the assist. At the very end of the first period, Rapid City took a 2-1 lead as Aliardi faked a shot near side at the Utah blue line, kept the puck, skated towards the near circle, took a righty shot that bounced off of Cranley. Uh, Blake Bennett got the rebound and put it away for his 29th of the year. And at 1958 into the first, Rapid City took a 2-1 lead. Early in the second period, Parker Bowman extended the rush lead as a shot was taken from the high slot. It went wide off the end boards, and Bowman quickly got it off the wall and fired away uh, past the near post as Cranley was gliding towards his right to try to cut it off. But Bowman got there before Cranley and scored his second of the year. Bennett and Janelle got the assist. Rapid City led 3-1 to one after two periods. The Grizzlies outshot the rush 15-4 to four in the second period. Rush only had four shots in the third, but Will Rydell's goal 11.55 in turned out to be the game winner. Brett Gravel picked up the assist. Uh, Josh Wesley scored 16, 12-16 uh, in, which was 21 seconds after Rydell's goal. Wesley with his 17th of the season, which leads all league defensemen. Kyle Mayhew picked up an assist. And then uh, 41 seconds later, well, you thought maybe we'd have another miracle comeback as Kyle Mayhew had scored 12.57 in and Fitz getting the assist as Fitz just fed a pass out in front and Mayhew gathered it and put it away. But what can you say about that top forward line for the Grizzlies? You know, Wesley and Mayhew continued to produce. And even though the Grizzlies didn't get any points from Brett Stapley and Brandon Cutler tonight, you know, it was guys like Alex Bokaj and Dylan Fitz that stepped up. So when it was a one-goal game, I think all Grizzlies fans thought that it wasn't if, but who was going to be the hero, and at what point in the game was it going to happen? But Rapid City held strong, and you really got to tip your hat to Matt Radomski. What an outstanding effort uh, for the Rapid City goaltender. He was peppered with one shot after another. Utah had 28 shots in the third period, and he stopped 26 of them. He saw just about a full game worth of shots in one period, and Matt Radomski should be the number one star of the game by far as he saved 55 of 58. And what an effort. You got to tip your hat. And if you're the Grizzlies, you know, you fall behind two goals after two periods. And obviously, you fall behind uh, three goals with about eight minutes left in regulation. You know, Grizzlies, as we've seen in the past, have been able to come back from those type of deficits. But it's, it's just tough to do, especially on the road, um, to do that time and time again. Uh, you know, there was a timeout, we believe, that the Grizzlies took with about 53 seconds left in order to keep that that uh, top unit on the ice. 
Uh, but uh, Utah just couldn't find a way to get that tying goal as Rapid City really did a good job clogging up the middle and and making sure Utah um, had to go to plan B in terms of their attack. You know, Scott Burt, one of the more well-prepared coaches in the league, he knew where Utah wanted to go with the puck, and, you know, he did a good job of, um, of putting together a game plan, and the Grizzlies just couldn't find a way to get that shot off, uh, that good look to tie up the game. I think all Grizzlies fans, really that's what's, Kind of been the fun identity of this Grizzlies team is that regardless of what kind of deficit, you never feel like the Grizzlies are out of a game. Um, and even when the Grizzlies were down three, I mean, they scored the two goals in a 41-second stretch. I know every Grizzlies fan was thinking it. You know, they were thinking about last Saturday and the military night miracle. They were thinking about two weeks ago with the Grizzlies overcoming a two-goal deficit against Rapid City. It's just you're on the road and you're down by three. It's just it's it's tough to overcome that time and time again. Uh, but nevertheless, Grizzlies put together a fun effort to try to tie it up. But they just came up one goal short, four to three. The final score is Rapid City uh, comes away with the two standings points. The good news, though, you know the bad news: the Grizzlies lost in regulation. The good news is both Allen and Tulsa lost tonight. Kansas City defeated Allen 3-1. to one. And how about this? Idaho opened up a can on Tulsa. Final score from Idaho Central Arena is Idaho 10 and Utah and Tulsa 1. That's right. The Stillheads put up 10 goals uh, on Tulsa tonight. Uh, so many great individual performances uh, by Idaho. As just about everybody registered a point for the Stillheads in their attack. Um, Idaho had 10 goals on 46 shots, and Grizzlies fans are hoping that doesn't happen next week when the Steelheads are at Maverick Center. Tonight, you know, they'll celebrate it a little bit because that means the Grizzlies didn't lose any ground in the standings, um, either falling further behind Tulsa. You know, Tulsa's got a two-point lead over Utah, or Allen, who's trailing Utah by four points. You know, with Allen losing, uh, Utah doesn't, uh, you know, close, it doesn't get the gap closed um, either way, so you know, yesterday Tulsa, Allen, and Utah all won. Tonight, the opposite happened, and all three teams ended up losing. I don't think Allen plays tomorrow, and I also don't think Tulsa uh, is in action tomorrow. So the Grizzlies, with Tulsa being off, you know, Utah can take over a tie for third place with a victory, as the series will be on the line. Utah got a five to three win. Uh, last night, with Mick Messner scoring the game winner on the power play 10 54 in. Today, it was Rapid City winning 4 to 3. So the rubber match is tomorrow night. It will be the ninth and final meeting this season between the Grizzlies and the Rush. Utah is now 5 2 and 1 against Rapid City this season. Three stars of the game. Let's see. They're all going to be Rush Gators. I know Kyle Mayhew would be the Grizzlies' number one star as he had one goal and two assists. Um, I'd have to agree with the three stars uh, as picked by somebody in Rapid City. Alex Aliardi had one goal and one assist. He had nine shots for the rush, and he is the number three star. Number two star is Blake Bennett, who had one goal and two assists. He had two shots and was a plus two. And Bennett is the number two star and the number one star. You know, you got to tip your hat to Matt Radomski. Um, it's possible they end up going to Christian Prop tomorrow, and they're all, almost going to have to. I mean, Radomski is right up there among the league leaders in games played, minutes played. He saw 58 shots. If you're in Rapid City, Radomski is over 21 years old. Buy the guy a cold one. He certainly deserves it. He saved 58, 55 of 58, and he is the number one star of the game. Well, the Grizzlies made it fun at the end with a comeback attempt, scoring two goals in a 41-second stretch with about seven minutes left in regulation, but uh, just couldn't find a way to get that tying goal. Next broadcast of Grizzlies hockey will be tomorrow afternoon. 350 pregame show, 405 faceoff. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast and not necessarily the final ending. Once again, the score in two hours and 24 minutes and in front of a good crowd of 4,059 on what we believe is Barbie night over at the Monument. Rapid City comes away with a 4-3 victory over the Grizzlies. We'll talk to you tomorrow afternoon for the rubber match of the three-game series. And don't forget, after tomorrow's game, the Grizzlies will be home for six straight, beginning on Wednesday night with a Smith family night to open up a three-game series against the Idaho Stillheads. Next week will be Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday games. And then next week, Tad O'Hads, Kansas City Mavericks,
will be in for their first and only series of the regular season. The dates of the Kansas City series will be April 3rd, 5th, and 6th, with April 6th being Fan Appreciation Night presented by Les Schwab, and that should be a lot of fun. Obviously, Idaho and Kansas City are the top two teams in the the division, so it's important for the Grizzlies to take care of business tomorrow against Rapid City. So it'll be a lot of fun. Make sure to get your tickets to utahgrizzlies.com as it will be the final homestand of the regular season. It's going to be a six-game set, three against Idaho next week, and then three against first-place Kansas City. Well, it's out tomorrow afternoon, 350 pregame show, 405 faceoff. I'm Tyson Whiting, and it is what it is. You've been listening to the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto Kennecott.